Greetings, adventurers, and welcome to Tales of Eros Past, a one-shot or a string of one-shots dedicated to the adventures and stories before the dawn of the Lightbreakers. Um, this is the second one we've done. It's pretty awesome, and we got a really good group for tonight, and I laugh because there's just a lot of things going on. So let's go ahead and introduce the cast for the night. Let's go ahead and start. Someone you've seen before. We got Buster. Ew. I'm Buster. I'm going to be playing a very special kind of paladin today. Um, you'll see later. Uh, named Moira. That's about all you'll need to know. Yes, indeed. Uh, he also played Poe in uh, Double Advantage. So go ahead check and check that out. Actually, the second part hasn't actually gone up yet so we, we had a little snafoodle but, <laughs> we, but we did good. we we're did good. we we fixed it we figured it out so it's all good. We're good. We're good um next up someone new to double advantage we got temmy hey yo my name is tem and i am going to play old godin the bard old garden Olive Garden, <laughs> Olive Garden, the Bard. Olive Garden. Uh, I hate it. I'm a half elf, and he is uh, really down bad. <laughs> As is most. That's all you need to know. All you need to know. Go ahead, right there. Go ahead and check Tem out. I'll have some links in the description for everybody, uh, except Buster, because Buster doesn't. I'll figure it out for Buster. I promise I will. Um, then we got send me some pictures. Yeah, send me something. Send me something. Uh, <laughs> then we got someone you guys absolutely know and love. We got Mr. Blazing Torchic. Hello, everybody. My name is Blazing Torchic, and in this lovely one shot, are we saying character names yet, or are we saving that? I'll let you pick. I mean, I'm going to save it. Okay. Because it's quite funny. But yeah, I I'm going to be playing a fun character. Uh, voice will be 100% improved when it comes to my turn to speak. And that's half the battle. Um, so go ahead, check him out on his channels. Go ahead, check him out on Double Advantage. Uh, go check out his Twitter. It's a great time. And somebody who hasn't been on the channel in a very long time, all the way back in the, if, for those of you who remember, all the way back in the fourth episode, we got Spider Hope. What's up? Um, I'm playing a uh, Shulky, a gnome. That's all you really need to know, I guess. Fair enough. Um, I don't know. <laughs> go check everybody out. Go spread the love. It's a great time. Uh, it's going to be a great night. I, I I know it is. I already can feel it. Um, and shout out to the artists. Um, some of which uh, their art isn't actually used for the one-shot stuff. But go support them anyway. Uh, Mitch Ninja, Carl Uber, and uh, Ready Texas. They're amazing. Love them. Go support them. It's a great time. Um, we are all drinking various liquids, eating various substances. It is a weird night tonight, folks. Um, don't worry about it. Just sit back, relax, and let's go ahead and get into Tales of Eros Past. Let's go ahead and set the scene here. I don't have a music bot. I forgot this time, but you'll, you guys hear music right now. Whatever. It's fine. So, since the emergence of the universe, the planes and their borders have been in a constant flux, growing ever closer and ever farther from each other in a constant cycle of movement. As time passes, the prime material plane and the Feywild creep closer and closer, a slow and unsteady process. The veils between the two planes grow ever closer until finally they become one with each other. This unprecedented occurrence causes rifts within the veils, causing planar gates to scatter all over, allowing easy travel to and from each plane. Although planar travel was now easier than it ever was before, the truth was the alignment was unbelievably unstable, and the two planes repelled each other with a great force that was rapidly pulling them apart. Truly, this was a once-in-a-lifetime event. But how long was it going to last? How long until the veils gave in and once again separated? I guess only time will tell. This event came to be known as the Convergence, one of the greatest oddities Eros has ever endured. So, I would like all of you to roll a d20 for me, please. Oh, boy. No yeah, additives, no nothing, just straight d20 goes. and tell me what you get. I'm scared now. As you should be. I'm always scared, but I'm just saying. Oh, that would be a 15. 
Okay. So Hope's dead. That would be an eight. Yeah, great start, guys. Okay, so 15, 13, 8, and 3. Okay. Yeah. Moira. Uh, you find yourself very groggy. And as you wake, you can feel a warm water flowing, very thin layer, just flowing on your back as you are flat on your back. It's kind of feeling your ears, that sensation where everything is muffled due to water being in your ears, fills the entirety of the area. And you look around and you are in a very murky bog, a swamp. Its smell is a combination of wet dog and mildew. It's not putrid. It's unsettling. And you look around, you kind of sit up, and you're currently sitting in maybe three inches of water in this giant pond-like structure. (laughs) Whoever put that in the chat, you're banned forever after this. You're done. (laughs) Anyway, you even put spaces in between the words, the letters. That's bad on you. Anyway, um... You look around and you can see that you are currently surrounded by all sides by trees. These very thick trees that look as if they're forming a wall or a barrier. And above you, the canopies stretch to the point where you can't see anything but the underside of the leaves. And the odd part of it all is not that you're in a swamp surrounded by trees blocking you in is that there's still a light that is emanating. It's this perpetual dusk, like the sun is setting and won't finish setting. It's just stuck in that medium. But it doesn't make sense considering all of the the tree cover at the top. And you look around, you can see a couple bodies, three others to be exact. And you're all just laying there in this murky, not putrid, this mildewy smelling water. There's kind of these roots from the trees that are digging in to the the kind of soft mud-like ground. You can see that there's a lot of thorns intertwined in the ground as well. Um, And as you're kind of looking about Torchic, your character begins to stir awake. So, well, first, Moro, if you would like to describe your character. So, currently getting up off of the ground and whatever this so-called liquid is. It's water. Um, you'll see. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. That's what they all said. You'll, you see a very tall and lanky uh, female. Can't discern the race. Looks human in a way. Um... Pitch black hair, very oily hair too, possibly from the water. Um, uh, black lip stick. It's it's not quite lipstick. I don't know what that would currently be. Uh, probably like just um, pick like uh, dried up like pigments and powders and stuff yeah. like that. It's it's it, she's got black lips unnaturally. Um, her skin very pale. Um, you can see her clothes. She's wearing like a very elegant dress type thing. Not, like, regal in a way, but, like, just fancier. And um, you can actually see it's pretty tattered and, like, torn all around. Possibly from what just happened, but we'll find out. Torchic, your character begins to stir awake at the sound of... You look over, you see this uh, tall, lanky woman kind of wandering around in the, the water as she begins to stand up. So, if you'd like to describe your character... So, my character is donned in a cloak with a hood over his head. He's looking around about five foot, male, tiefling, uh, very dark skin, almost black, and uh, his eyes, notably, are pitch black. And he has a decent beard, and his hair is quite messy looking, it's draping over his eyes a little bit. Uh, he's got his hood up, and his hair is deep purple. Okay. 
you, in your head, Torchic, you hear a voice, not too unfamiliar to you. In fact, in this state of not knowing where you are and being very unused, like it's very unusual and you're not used to it, you hear a voice that is comforting in the sense of it's familiar. You hear, so, what do you think this is? I'm not too sure. Where is it? Do you know? Well, it looks like a bog, a swamp. Looks gross. Probably doesn't smell too good either. But it definitely doesn't. It's not easy at a first glance. I mean, you could be anywhere. Who were the others? I don't know. Hmm. Only one of them's awake right now. But hopefully they're not out to get you. If they are, you need to be the first to strike. My thoughts. But I'd play it by ear. If you can be if you can do this diplomatically without having to kill someone at first, then maybe you can. It's gotten us out of danger in the past. So we can try. Just keep your eyes peeled. I'll do the rest. And so with that, who, who, what'd you guys, would the two of you roll? Three. Eight. Okay. Ten. Your character begins to stir awake after hearing a lot of movement, a lot of rustling, and you can start to hear the flowing of water. So what would you like to do? Well, describe your character, please. Okay, so I am a half elf old Gurton. He I am around six foot. Kinda of, kinda of skinny, not too skinny, but skinny statue. Um I have this like kinda of, like scruffy, scruffy five o'clock shadow. Um uh, and I'm always kinda of hungover. Which, at this point in time, uh, it's hitting you hard. Your head is pounding. The water in your ears, like, is just agitating you. And, like, they're ringing as well. It's all bad. Like, like you're just extremely disoriented. And you wake up. At first, when you, when you opened your eyes, you're kind of in this slightly warm water. You thought for sure you peed yourself again. For sure. It is. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You thought something. You thought you got yourself into a bad situation. Um, and, um, yeah, you you look up and you're, you're in a swamp and you can see, uh, there is currently a, a, a tall woman who is currently standing around in like a, a, a kind of fancy yet tattered clothing, um, and a comparatively, a comparatively shorter, um, dark kind of blackish purple skinned, uh, tiefling individual with like these broken horns and this hood, um, and noticeably... Well, make a history check real quick. Just to see. History check. Yep. That would be a four. Um, yeah, okay. No, it's just a tiefling. Nothing out of the ordinary there. Um, but you wake up and you can see them. They're not standing together. They're not talking. They're just standing. Um, and as you stand up, right like at the base of your feet, you see... Hope, would you like to describe your character who is still currently lying uh, on the floor? Quick question. How deep is the water? It's like three inches. It's like, it's okay. it's not a lot. Okay. So I'm not even going to stand up. I'm just laying there. I open my eyes and I'm laying there. I'm rubbing my eyes. I'm this little three foot gnome just laying there. Kind of like, it looks like I'm starting to gray a little bit. I'm not that old, but it looks like I'm just graying from, like, stress or whatever's going on in my life. Um, I'm just wearing some, like, typical, like, tattered, kind of, like, almost, like, looks like a thief. I'm a common thief, basically, to the look of me. And, like, I have, like, the the uh, typical cloak to, to uh, dro- uh, put over my head and stuff like that. So I just look like a old, everyday, common, petty thief. All right. Just so, short. That is what you see at your feet? 
Oh, right. fucking hell. <laughs> what are you doing there? What do you want? I'm just chilling here. Join the raise? What? Do, what do I want to do? Do I want to race? What? I'm Wait. enjoying this. The, 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 huh? Stop what are you interrupting saying? me. <laughs> I'm enjoying the rays from all these little palms in the sky. I'm enjoying. I'm getting a little sunbathe. I'm going to get a little sunburn. I didn't bring any lotion. Well, why are we in the war? I don't know. I just woke up. Well, what, what sort of that? What do you want me to do? I don't know. I have a, a mean headache and it hurts. Can... So, around the pond, is there, like, land? Uh, no. So, it's basically okay. just this, like, think of it like, like, a, like, if you were in a swamp, basically. Like, it's all just, like, mud and, like, water. And you are current, like, it's just trees. And, like, the trees are, like, so close together that, like, there's, like, little, like, slits that, like, you think, like, you could go through. But, like, it's, it's, like, it's, like, a wall. It's, like, a barrier. Can I take some of the mud and start rubbing it on my face as if I'm making a mud mask? Sure, yeah, you're exfoliating your skin right now. I'm exfoliating and laying my head back down as Tum's yelling at me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so as this is happening, uh, <laughs> Moira, uh, you can see that there is this tiefling gentleman in front of you. Uh, and you can hear that there's, like, a conversation going on behind you that is literally unaudible for you. Like, none of it is making sense. Um, so what would you like to do? You said we're in water. I'm just going to, like, pick up a scoop of that in my hand and just... First, I'm going to smell it. And if it smells terrible, I'm going to put it down. But if it doesn't smell terrible, I'm taking a sip. Okay, so it doesn't smell, like... It doesn't smell terrible. It doesn't smell, like, gross, per se, but it's like, you know what mildew, like, it's like, it's just like, eh. Some people would probably argue that mildew is like really fucking gross. But like, it's not like a very, it's like a mild, like, uh, eh. Old? Yeah, it's just taking old. a sip. <sighs> Make a constitution saving throw. <laughs> fucking A. Uh, that, oh, this is going to go so well. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, oh, that's my health. It's um, broke. 11. <laughs> fucking, I don't even know how to, um... I would say, uh, fuck. What would this? What happens when you drink swamp water? You probably po get, you probably get poisoned. <laughs> you get out the swamp. Bro. I would. I would you say. Would get ill. I would. I say, am immune to disease because of my class. So. Okay. Sure. We'll say that you should <laughs> get very sick, but if you're immune to disease, I guess. Because yeah, would you? Okay. I guess I'll ask everybody. Would you consider like? Like parasites in your stomach to be a disease. Yeah, Maybe. it's not poison. Yeah, it's not yeah. a poison. Right? It's not a poison. Disease. Okay, yeah, we'll say That's that it's not tasty and it hurts your stomach. Tasty, just like how just how I like my bog water. <laughs> <laughs> but technically, nothing bad happens to you because yeah. All right. Um, what is going on, Torchic? Don't know. You see this tall woman grab a handful of bog water and slurp that shit up. Well, given my past, I would understand the need to drink water whenever you see it, but still disgusted at the sight. <laughs> you hear in your head, did she just drink that fucking bog water? Yes, I mean, there's been situations where I've done the same, but... Ugh. God, if I had an actual physical body, I'd be throwing up right now. I'm close to it. Well, I was going to say maybe you talk to that one. She seems to be the strongest, but now I'm not so sure. I mean, none of them here look reliable. I mean, if I, if I was you, which technically I kind of am at this moment, I, anyone who's willing to drink bog water is probably someone you want on your side. Well, I mean, means we can manipulate them. That's true. Probably has a feeble mind if that. Probably. Well, you're the one who's in control, so you might as well. I'm gonna see how this plays out. 
Godspeed, young child. <clears throat> gonna fold my arms. Just disappointed look at all of them. <laughs> okay. So, um, what is everybody doing now at this point? I know that the two of you were arguing about some some aud- unaudible thing. Um, and I'm sunbathing. You're sunbathing. With the no sun. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, it's hilarious. Okay. Um, let me let me see here. Um, uh, what's everybody's passive perception? Nine. Um. Did you guys both say nine? Yes. Oh, yep. twelve. Nine, twelve. Uh, Tab. You're muted. You're still, still muted. muted. He's still muted. It's eleven, by the way. It's eleven. Fuck me. There he is. I thought I, I mm. thought you meant I, we got muted, so that's like didn't react. Well, eleven. Okay. Yeah, you guys don't notice anything. Um, mm. continue, continue. Uh, yeah. What do, what do you get? So, let's see. At this point, uh, Ugotin, where or what are you doing now that the gnome has just started sunbathing and has is now just like not about the conversation you were having with them? Well, I'm mumbling to myself, what in the hell is there mud on the face? I'm gonna go over towards the the buckwater lady and be like, Oi! Where in the hell are we? What would you think I knew? I, I just woke up the same like you. I mean, you drank the water, so I assumed you knew something. By the way, by the way, by the way, don't drink the bug water, guys. is is no good. Is uh, uh, it, it make my tummy feel no good? If you know trust, what I mean. Trust me, that wasn't a part of the plan. Good, good. I have no idea where the fuck we are. <laughs> is there anyone here? No. That knows where the fuck we are? No. I'm gonna shake my head. Gosh dang it. Continue sunbathing. I don't know where I am, Did and you? I have a splitting headache. You, I'm hungover. Did you hurt that gnome? Is that gnome alright? Did you hurt that gnome? No, I just no, she, like, the gnome is like sunbathing. You right? Yeah, right, yeah. Right. <laughs> hey, you need you need a little you need a little help there? No, I'm sunbathing. I'll cast light above her. <laughs> Hell yeah. Her, her him? Who knows? <laughs> at this point um we should probably get out of here um if we were all unconscious i'm assuming this place is not not great to be in can i start washing off my uh, mud mask and start walking over to the rest yeah you could yeah you i just like enough. take a quick glance around the area okay make a perception check everybody make a perception check mm-hmm. my perception. hey this die is going away ah I'm gonna... Okay. 18. I how to make perception checks. Oh, there you go. Mm-hmm. Never mind. I'm good. That'll Shit. be an 8. Okay. 9. I'll be a 10. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'll be an 18. Okay, so, Torchic, you're the only one who's not entertaining the idea of these people right now, and so you're doing everything except that. You're looking around, and you're nothing, it's nothing that you haven't already noticed from when you woke up. But the one thing you do pick up is that from the second you woke up to now, the the way that the so you could see like the perpetual like like through the palms like the perpetual like like sunset that's going on, you you've noticed that that hasn't changed. Like the sun's not going down more, or the sun's not coming up more. It's like static. Make an insight check. Where's inside? Oh, lovely. Oh, that's a 17. Okay. It's not you, but Yuri in your head, who says, Hmm. Perpetual sundown. This seems like there's only one answer to this. It's not a good answer, but it seems like you might be in the Feywild, child. What? 
Yes. In the fair while the sun never sets, it never comes up. It's in a perpetual state of, you know, sundown. So that would be the only explanation. It's kind of a shitty one, that. I don't know how you got here, but that's the only one I can give to you. In the first palm just... Right. Yes, I know, not the greatest answer in the world, but... That's the answer. Well, we know more now. Hmm. I mean, the next question is, how do you get out? Well, I thought you would know. <laughs> I don't know everything. I know a lot of things, but I don't know everything. Well, you sure as shit know more than me. That is true. Well, I think, unfortunately, that... Oh, don't say it. I think you have to work with these people. Oh, God. What other choice do you have? You're, li you're stuck here, and the only people that are here are the tiny sunbathing gnome, the alcoholic half-elf, and the bogwater woman. So, that's all you have. And me, of course, but I can't physically do anything for you, so... Quite literally out of options. Yes. At this moment, as he's talking to you, can I just, like, stand right behind him, just look up? Like, look right up? He's, he's not so saying anything out him. loud, by the way. I hope everybody Yeah, oh, yeah I'm just so looking at him. Yeah, you just... And as that happens, you kind of yeah. exit that state of, like, talking to Yuri. You look down, and you see this gnome that's just looking up at you. Well, not even by that much, actually, because you're only five foot. Yeah. Short. I instinctively slap. <laughs> what the like, fuck, man? <laughs> I mean, I'm weak. I'm the weakest one here. It won't hurt. <laughs> it does negative damage, I think. It does zero for an unarmed strike. It doesn't oh, okay. mean it doesn't hurt her... Her pride? It hurts <laughs> my feelings. I just, just I start waddling and running away. Right, well, you were right in front of me. Christ. You just walk away? <laughs> I just kind of waddle away. Just kind of mumbling myself. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> the imagery. Just the imagery in my head of just this this five foot tiefling slapping the fuck out of a three foot gnome. And just no words. Like, like what in the actual... That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> you hear in your head, what the fuck? I was startled. You're, so you're you, getting a few judgmental stares at this point. So, so, your, so your first your first decision is to slap the fuck out of a gnome. Right. You do this. Come out of head talking. Look down, gnome, out of nowhere. I'm surprised the slap didn't break your elbow. <laughs> yes, I'm surprised too. Like, I mean, she, she took that like a champion. Like, there was, I mean... Well, I mean, getting slapped by me isn't exactly the worst thing. That's true. That's true. Well, um, there goes collaboration, if that was the plan in any form. You know. Good. How, how, how have you lived this long? I mean, your decisions are questionable. Do you call this living? Uh, I'm bordering death. What do you call this, then? this point, seeing him slap someone and then just completely space out, <laughs> I'm gonna intervene a little bit. Okay. Can I walk right behind her the whole entire time, just kind of like hiding behind a tall woman? <laughs> it's like, Mom, I threw up. <laughs> I just don't know what the fuck is going on. What the fuck did you do to this gnome? What was that for? My eyes just roll from... Well, you wouldn't be able to tell because they're pitch black, but my eyes roll back just like... Right, okay. Apologies. You startled me. I tend to do that. Why is there mud on your face? I was, I was sunbathing. Something. Exfoliating my skin. I point I directly up. Wanna... There's no sun. I give what I can. I'm, I'm not sure you want exfoliating with this mud. It's, um... It's not, not great. Um, there's uh, probably a few parasites or something. You should uh, get that checked out once we find civilization. 
says someone who drank bog water. I I knew what I was doing. Sorry, I raised Did my you? voice. I should not have. Hearing yes. this, I say, but 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 maybe she liked the bog water. Bog water was nasty. I was testing to see if it was able to be drank. Clearly it is not. Nobody else drank the bog water. It is bog water. I, I would I would drink it for ten gold. Bet and I pulled ten gold. Oh my god. Can I waddle off again and where the trees? Because you said there's like the sliver openings. Yeah, like such as. Could I walk? O- yeah, could I like put my finger in it and just kind of see what happens? Okay. You try and it's like it's like pressing into like a wall. Like, okay. It meets it meets a resistance. Okay. I just kind of stare at it. What the fuck? <laughs> Can I, um, take my short sword and just start jabbing it? Yeah, um, roll an attack. I start to approach this gnome as I realize they're doing something that seems half intelligent. <laughs> Nat 20, a uh, 26. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> right a tree. So you start walking up to the gnome who's about to hit this tree. You, you walk up, and as you're walking up, you kind of, like, hold your hand out. And she takes a sor- short sword and clangs into the tree and you watch as it does ching it like sparks but sends out like this reverberation and knocks you guys on your asses it's like a shock wave that knocks you all on your asses uh splashing into the water uh shoki your your hand is like it's like when you hit a baseball really bad it's like the reverberation you're like what but like you're on your back and you're like ah it didn't do any damage it just caused like that like dead leg sensation you just hit yeah. the tree. I was what king of hell, what are you doing? <laughs> Y'all are trying to argue. Trying to get the fuck out of here. I agree with the gnome. The gnome seems to somehow know what they're doing. Yeah, but that hurt my butt. <laughs> oh. Now my, we can now all my, hurt Now my butt. head is hurting and my butt is hurting at the same time. I don't like this. Shall we make everything I can make a lot more hurt. Damn, oh. you guys are fucking me. Can I try something else? Sure. I can also make like uh, so, the, the, the alcohol for you. Oh. I have winged boots. Could I possibly attempt to fly to the like the canopy? Okay. And, so like, it's just me. Did you say wing boops? Boots. No, boots. Boots. Okay, sorry. Okay. <laughs> so, so, so you actually. <laughs> So you activate your boots, um, and you start flying up to the canopy. Okay, it's like a it's like a forty five foot uh, journey, and as you begin to fly, okay. you're like, ah, yes, you just right into the like you hit your head, <laughs> and, like it like accordions you like in the cartoons, like yeah, you just, you, it's like a solid mass, and it does the same yeah. little shock wave, um, but it's so high up it doesn't actually cause. Um, and it wanted to get knocked on their ass. Okay. And then I just, I attempt to gracefully go back to the ground. Okay, so you go ahead and you drop back down. Um, and so with that, two of, you've done that twice. Um, hold on, let me, <laughs> let me check did something. You, did you say she was the intelligent one? I, okay. I, out of everyone here, honestly, yes. Hold on, let me try something, I, and you'll see as oh, my I eyes go from the the very pale gray that you see to a very pitch black, and I'm going to use one of my divine senses. Okay. Uh, what do you detect with divine senses again? Uh, Hello spell or celestial fiend undead within 60 feet? Celestial fiend undead? Nothing. Nothing. Um, okay. Everybody make a perception check for me, please. Come on, dice. That's natural one for a zero. <laughs> zero. Um, nice. I, I just rolled another nat fault. twenty. Okay, nat twenty zero. I think ten. Ten. How did I... Yes, you ten. did. Ten. So two tens, a zero, and a twenty. Wow. That's... Wow. That's insane. That's hilarious. That's weird. Perfectly That's balanced. Insane. That's strange. As all things should be. All things should be. It, I'm, I'm rolling on the D&D thing, so you can check it if you want. Okay, so got a 20. Okay. 
all of you clueless, except Shoki. As you as you were uh, descending down, you had a very big like periphery of everything that was going on. You saw a, a relatively large like mass, like the mud itself was moving and shifting towards the group. Um, and as you touched on the ground, you were about to say something, and you watch as from within the mud, almost like crawling out of it, but also one with it, you see this mass of mud and vines and thorns coalescing into what would appear to be this almost canine form. This mass with these long claws that start clawing out of the bog it begins to make its way towards you. I need everybody to roll initiative, please. Stace is going away too. Let's I use the time. I think, I think to myself, that thing's hot. Oh God, this dude. You're <laughs> I right. I got he, 17. He is down bad. I got <laughs> this is 22. literally 10. Bro, I rolled 10 again. What is going on? Ha, fuck you. I got an 11. This thing That's is such chaos. Time. That's the third time. Third time. So, so no this dice is going to the dice jail. Okay. Ooh. I sent a picture for anybody curious as to what this thing looks like. That looks fun. That it looks like my dog coming out the bath. Yeah, basically. That contributed to the wet canine smell you had earlier. Hell oh, yeah. Oh, that, that sounds wet. That's because it is. It's a wet. Well, then I don't uh, have, to, I... have to do anything, do any work. It's okay. already wet. So, let me go ahead and get this going here. So, what did everybody get? 17. Okay. 22. 22? 1. 22. 22. No, 22. I was like, 1. I was like, what? Okay, so 22. Oh, let me roll, actually. That's, uh... Okay. All right, so... You... Whose name hasn't been said yet um so 10 what did you get buster 11 and then so, okay so then shoki that 11 and then 10 you got 10 mm -hmm. yeah uh what's your dex uh, uh modifier or the modifier uh plus three. Oh, okay yeah now you go first all right so, as this happens, even though you were the most clueless um, <laughs> Torchic, or unnamed character, um, you are technically the first to react for some reason. I'm trying to figure out why, <laughs> but uh, it just, I guess out of instinct, like how you slap the gnome, this is just out of instinct. Um, so, what would you like to do, as it is your turn? Uh... Do. Oh, it's not here yet. Yeah, technically it's not. We have a map. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. That would be very helpful. I forgot mm -hmm. to share that with you because I was too busy grabbing my notebook. Hey, guys. That is fair. There you guys go. Um, mm. Let's have a gander. And I didn't have a time just, to make a token for everybody, so there's only a couple just, of tokens. Just a word of advice. Don't don't slap this thing. Clearly, it was ineffective against the gnome. <laughs> Oof. Slap it! Slap it! Oof. Slap it! That was that was harsh. Thank you, smart ass. All right. All right. Let me go ahead and I'm gonna get everybody situated. I only have tokens for two because we kind of made characters last minute a little bit. It's fine. Um. Okay. Ah. So, um, what what color would you like to be, uh, Ulgatin? Uh, can I be like pink? Yeah. yeah. I was gonna say green for Olive Garden. <laughs> you know yes. what? He has a point. He has a point. Do you want to be green? <laughs> yeah. He has a go point. For olive for Olive Garden. That's <laughs> true. I don't know what color an olive is, but uh... they're green or black. Green. Depending well, on. Green. That's fine. We'll do that. 
That works. It's more like a mint green, but it'll do the Very trick. Very olive yeah, Close enough. Uh, uh, it, it matches my new dice, so it's fine. All right, and Shoki. Can I be yellow? Yep. All right. Let's go ahead and get all that situated. Sorry, folks. This is what happens when I don't have my notebook, so I could do this first. Okay. So, go ahead and get a yellow. All right. So, where would you have all been situated? Let me zoom out a little bit. I've been pretty close well, to like the wall of the trees because that's where um the gnome hit the tree. Yeah, so and, you'd be right around there. And and I was confronting him after okay. smacking the shit out of the so gnome. So you would have been like right here. Yeah. And then where would the other two of you have been? I was talking to Bug Lady a little before we got thrown to our butts. Okay, so like right there. I guess, okay. yeah. And then where would you have been, Shoki? <laughs> I mean, I was right by them because they were talking to me as I was hitting the tree, and then I flew flew up and back down. I think I was around the same area, so, so like right I'd there? say pr pretty much right next to them, yeah. Okay. So, you guys go right there, and so you see the creature emanates from probably right around here. Oh, right next to us. That's fun. Oh, oh that's fun. Right on you, I said. Oh, oh. Um, can the gnome and I switch places? <laughs> Well, I mean, it's a little late for that now, Inside. isn't it? All right. Damn it. <laughs> so, uh, Torchic, you are the first to react. Okay. Uh, I've just been told not to slap it, because it'll do nothing. So I'm going to cast Chill Touch. Do you have to touch it for that, or can you, is it a, a projectile? 120 feet range. Oh, you're good. Do you? Would you like to move at all? Uh, yeah, I'd like to back up. How much? As far away as I can, which is 30 feet. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Want to go all the way the fuck back there? Yep. Okay. I am going to reach into my cloak and pull out a black orb. Okay. And then you're going to see this weird, like, black crackling energy go from the orb into my hands and then I'm just gonna push my hand forward and you're gonna see like a skeletal hand appear next to the creature and just slap it nice okay uh is that a saving throw or is that on you I gotta roll okay go for it uh that's 20 to hit Add dirty on. 20 that's hitting okay so that's a d8 of what damage is this it's necrotic. necrotic. Yeah. Yep. Ooh. That's one damage. Damn Slaps don't hurt. Damage is damage. And it also can't regain health until the start of my next turn. Got it. I and it's just gri anyway. It's like gripped by his this hand. Okay. Like by the scruff of the neck, like when you grab a newborn puppy. Yes. Also, is this undead? It is not. Okay. Okay. Uh, is that your turn? Any bonus action? Um, it's not enough of a threat for that. So no, no, I think that'll be it. Okay, uh, Shoki, it is your turn. You watch as this giant spectral hand is now grabbing the scruff of this moss-covered dog-like creature. Yeah. Um. So. Uh. I'm trying to make sure. Uh, can I move 25, uh, sorry, yeah, 25 feet, uh, kind of, like, closer to where, he, um, the tiefling is. Okay, so 5, but, 10, 15, 20, 25? Uh, is that, because I have a 30 range mm -hmm. for a move, is that close enough? 30 uh, feet range? Do you want to be 30 feet away, or do you want to be within 30 feet of the creature? Uh, within 30 feet of the creature. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yeah, you're good. Okay. Uh, can I cast uh, Hideous Laughter? Yes, you can. Um, Alrighty. What does that for me? Is that a saving throw? Uh, I believe it's a saving it's throw. It's a wisdom saving throw, I think. Alright, wisdom saving throw. That is a 15. 
it is safe. Okay. Alrighty. So, you watch the spell, you can see it, it starts to kind of take hold, but then the creature just literally shakes it off. The two of you that are right there get covered in more uh, gross mud and bog water. Um, is there anything you'd like to do Let's for think. a bonus action? Uh, I don't think I have any bonus actions. Okay. So that puts us at Moira. Cool. So... I am right up next to this thing. Yep. This thing is scary. So you'll see as she pulls out her, her, her great sword from a little hilt she has in the back. And as she does, it starts to not glow because it doesn't glow, but it glows with like a dark, you know, necrotic type energy as I cast Wrathful Smite as my bonus action. Nice. And then as my action, we take in a slash at this thing. All right, go for it. Okay, All right, that's a 12. A 12 just misses. All right, well. Um, but is... Wrathful mm -hmm. Smite still, it will last. I think it has a minute. It, yeah. So it, yeah. It, it's, still, it's still crackling with the energy, so no yeah. need to worry about that. Uh, do you want to move? No. Okay, you will stay there. Ugaton. Okay. Well, that's a scary thing. Um, I'm going to uh, cast Sleep on it. Okay. Uh, Ooh. Ooh. Uh, roll 5d8. Uh, that many... 9, 14... 17, 21. Uh, uh, the total is how many hit points of uh, creatures this spell can affect. So, 20, so you uh, roll 21 HP, right? Yes. Okay, so if it has uh, more than 21, it doesn't go to sleep. Right? Is that how that works? Uh, uh, starting with the creature that has the lowest current hit points, each creature affected by the spell falls uh, unconscious. So the spell ends the sleeper take takes damage or someone uses an action to shake or slap the sleeper awake. Subtract each creature's hit points from the total before moving on to the creature with the next lowest lowest hit points. A creature's hit points must be equal to equal to or less than remaining total for that creature to be affected. Okay. So Unfit if it has and creatures So if it has more, it doesn't go to sleep. So it does not go to sleep because it has more than twenty-one. Damn. So you watch as the eyes begin to like start to close, but they just open back up again. Um, anything for your bonus action or movement? Well, me, I'm scared. Uh. No, I'm a big boy. I'm I'm a stay. Okay, um, that puts us at the creature's turn. Who? Let's see. Gotta check and see what I can do here. Okay, it is going to make a bite attack on both of you. Missed. I'm just trying to think who we would think the biggest threat is. Bite attack on you, uh, Moira. Okay. And that is... Yeah, that's probably going to hit. That's uh, 24 to hit. Mm-hmm. Okay. So Doesn't you will... Hit. You will take... Um, okay. I got to find my dice here. 11 points of piercing damage. Owie. And then on to you, uh, Ulgatin, it's going to make a Swamp Claw attack. Get him Sounds away. painful. So, here we go. That is a 16 to hit. Uh, hits. Okay. So, you are going to take... Um, eight points of slashing damage as it 
claws across you, but as it does, you can feel the like the actual claw kind of extend and begin to like try to wrap around you. I need you to make a strength saving throw, please. Oh no. Uh that's that's a, that's that's not great. Okay, uh, come here. Net net ready. Okay. Uh you, cool. you kind of shake off and kind of rip uh like the vines that are trying to grasp you off um and so you are fine there. Um Okay. That is good. Oh. That is done there. That puts us at Torchic. Um uh, well, the hand clearly didn't work, and it's gonna disappear by now. Yeah, it's gone. So you're gonna see the uh, orb I have in my hand really start to crackle, and out of it, boom, Eldritch Blast. Okay, go ahead and roll for it. 18. That hits. Nice, nice. Ooh, a d10 for damage. Four damage. Four damage. Do you have Agonizing Blast? Would that be one of the invocations? Yeah, that's the one that adds your Charisma no. modifier to Eldritch Blast. No, you don't have that? Okay. So it takes four? Uh, Yeah, it takes four. Okay. Uh, Anything for bonus action or movement? Uh, Is it? Oh, no, because I did a cantrip for my action. Oh, wait, no. I can do this at will. But that I did that as an action, so I can't do that. Okay. Well, what are you thinking of? Uh, no, it's fine. I can't do it now. I'll do it next time. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, no. All right. Shoki. Um, so can I move 20 feet closer? Uh, not behind them, but the, kind of like a bit to the side. So five, like 10, right next to 15, Olive Garden. 20 right here, like over here. Because I'm 20... trying to get five feet away. Okay, let's, let's see. Okay, so five feet. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25 will get you right there. Yeah. And then can I do a short sword attack? Yep. Go for it. Um, um, are you dual wielding right now? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm dual wielding. Okay, so you can so you can go ahead and make one attack, and then you can make another as a bonus action because you have uh, two weapons. All right, I rolled 15 to hit. That one's going to hit, the first one. All right, and that's going to be uh, nine piercing damage. Nine piercing damage. And because it is engaged with other people, I believe you get sneak attack damage as well. All right, and then I got, I'm going to use my bonus action to hit again. Okay. Uh, which is 24 to hit. That's going to hit. And then it's going to be eight. Uh, damage. Okay, and then don't forget to roll your D two for sneak attack. Sneak attack is two D six at this level, right? Oh yeah, two uh, D six, not D two. Yeah. All right, so go ahead and roll two D six. Let me find my six die. Uh, wait. I'm, I'm not the one doing sneak attack. This feels weird. I know, right? Uh, I got five for my first one, and I keep on falling. Um, and then four for my second one. So another nine. Yeah. Alrighty. So you go ahead. You watch as the sh the the small gnome just runs up and just ch -ch -ch -ch, just starts taking these flurry of attacks, hitting literally the swords right in all of the like spots that start to like lock up the body, doing extra like bits of damage, um, and this kind of flurry of moves. So uh, I believe that's the, your turn because you used all your movement and stuff. Moira. Yeah. It is your turn. You still have Wrath will smite up. I do. Which means we're taking a swipe. Okay. That is a cocked. That's an 11. No, wait. Sorry, 14 to hit. That hits. Cool. So that's those plus, what do I do? I think it has to make a save now. I'm pretty Cause, sure. So it's 2d6 for the sword. And then an additional d6 and it needs a wisdom saving throw. Uh, what's the additional d6 from? Oh, from the... From the, the smite. Wrathful Smite. It's a wisdom saving so, throw? So, yep, and it'll take eight points of damage. Eight. Six, uh, sorry, uh, four of that is psychic, four of that is, uh, slashing. Uh, let me see if that matters. 
It does not. Okay. Um, and uh, it's a natural 20 on the save, by the way. Sorry. Ah, that. Um, okay. Is that it for you? There's still some movement if you would like to move. Yep. Nope. Okay. Uh, Ugaton, it is your turn. All right. I'm going to cast Vicious Mockery. Okay. On the dog. I believe that's a saving throw, yes? Yes. Charisma, right? Uh, uh, wisdom. Actually. Wisdom. Okay. That's a 17. Uh, Damn, this thing has a lot of wisdom. Uh, it does. Uh, that, 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 yeah. Okay. That's, uh, that, that works. Anything else you'd like to do on your turn? Uh, I would like seeing the gnome kind of just kind of slashing at the, uh, the dog. I will, I want to cast, use my bonus action and cast Bardic Inspiration okay. on the, uh, the gnome. All right. You have Bardic Inspiration. Um, alrighty. Is that your turn? Yes. Okay. It is the creature now who has now identified that there are two threats here and one that is not really that much of a threat. Um, I take offense to that. You should. Uh, we're going to one attack, a uh, claw attack on you, Moira, which is a... Oh, shit, what is it? A 23 to hit. Yeah, that hits a little bit. You will then take uh, eight points of piercing damage. Um, eight? The combination of canine breath, wet dog bog water and just dis it's just is disgusting um, hey yeah uh, fun fact i'm gonna need that to make a dick save throw please oh sure 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 i'll that. take that uh that's a five yeah so it's going to take seven points of fire damage sure. as i cast hellish rebuke oh great how much fire damage Seven. Seven. Okay. I rolled a five and a two on the D10. That was the first time I think as a DM I was like, what the fuck is actually happening? Like, <laughs> genuinely didn't know. Okay, sweet. Awesome. Um, all right, and then it is going to make a Swamp Claw attack on Shoki, because that is currently the other threat right now. And that is a 16 to hit. It hits. Okay, so... You are going to take seven points of slash, no, nope, six points of slashing damage. And I need you to make a strength saving throw, please. 17. You are good. All right. Um, so that has happened. That is all good and well. So. Yeah, no, that's, that's it. All right, Torchic, it is your turn. Gonna hit it with another Elch Blast. Alright, go for it. That's a 14. That hits. Oh, that's lucky. Uh, it's a d10. Zero's 10, right? Yes. 10 damage. Woo! Alrighty. Um, anything else you would like to do on your turn? Uh, no. Alrighty, you just you're lighting this thing up right now. Um, Shoki, you have just uh you were about to get engulfed in vines, but you kind of just took your short sword and started cutting them off. Um, but it is back to your turn. Okay, so I I saw vines on me still right now. Uh or no. You you got out of it. It was trying to like envelop okay. you. Um so with Berardic in is inspiration, um I just want to make sure. What does that do again? So it helps with, like, to hit. So if you roll, like, let's say, okay. like, a two, you can add it on to that to see if it'll hit. And I think it... Is that the only thing that your Bardic Inspiration does? Because I think some other Bardic Inspirations can be a, subtracted from others. So I think... But I think that's the only thing this one can do because of the bar to use. Okay. Um, I'm going to do another short sword hit with the bonus of another short sword hit. Okay, go for um, it. I rolled 19 to hit. 19 to hit. All right, that hits. 
And I've rolled okay. nine to, for damage. Okay. Go ahead and grab And then make another this. short sword. 16 to hit. That will hit as well. You can and make, sneak uh, take six damage. Okay, six damage. Okay. And then, yeah, so 2d6 for your sneak attack damage as well. Uh, six and uh, one, so seven. Alrighty. Go ahead, once again, just bombarding into this thing, stabbing into it. Um, would you like to do any move? Uh, move away? Uh, could I move behind it? Like, uh, to, like, the, where I am right now, just three, uh, squares away. One, two, three, like that? Yeah. Or would you like to get right here? Uh, right in that corner. Right there? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Sweet. So you're good there. It doesn't get an attack of opportunity because you haven't left the range. Um, okay, that leaves us to Moira. Cool. You'll see as Moira's eyes begin to turn that somewhat familiar shade of pitch black. And I am going to cast Toll the Dead on the bear. Okay. Wisdom saving. It's a dog, but that's fine. Same. It looks like a bear in the picture you've sent. Yeah, I know. Um, okay, that's uh, what is What save is it? Wiz wisdom that's a t uh, 13 that fails it is going to take a d12 of damage because i'm pretty sure it's hurt yeah just a little bit please kill me that is a one nice love that I, for I me said, I, I, I said one yeah yeah I know. not nice yeah i, I, I yeah, hate everything it's nice for me i love it these dice suck all right I want new day anything else you'd like to do no okay I would like to cry. Crying is a free action. It's a free action. It's a free action. Yeah. So you're fine. Yeah. I'm gonna gonna do that. Um Ugoten. Okay. I have a I have a question. Yes. Is there any way that I can get advantage on this dog? Um You could if you if you were flanking. Well, if, he's on the, if you're on the left... Yeah, but is there any ways I would be flanking? Could, could yes, flank. Yes, you could flank if you get right here. Because that's the direct diagonal of where Shoki is. So that would give I, you advantage on the strike. I'll move there and I'll... Uh, I'll draw my rape here. Okay. And I am going to just hack and slash this water type Arcanine. Yeah, basically. That's that we have here. Yep, water grass. Uh, the new starter, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's a new starter. <laughs> Sprigatito go uh, crazy. It's bog canine. God damn. Okay, bog canine. That would be... I hate life right now. Me too. You have advantage. I rolled two fives. What's the plus on it? I'm plus five. So ten? Yeah. That misses. Why do you I always roll 10? I want to die. 10 and 10. 10 and 10. That's why. It sounds the same. I'm okay. 10. So you go ahead. I'm changing my nickname. You try to stab into it and you kind of pierce right in between like the hand. Like it like just kind of goes through like grass um, and it does no damage. Um, you have a bonus action still. I really hope someone is appreciating me have me rolling four tens in like... An hour and a half. It's half the battle. Up rolling tens. <laughs> Quite little. I'm wins. just, the I'm just gonna. I, I, I'm just gonna stay there. Okay. Because apparently I suck. Okay. So that is, that's going to do it there, I believe. So it is now the creature's turn. Who is going to? Right now, the biggest threat seems to be Shoki. So it's going to take all the attacks onto Shoki. So here comes the bite. That's uh, 25. Yep, it hits. Okay, so you take uh, seven points of damage. And then it is going to take the Swamp Claw attack on you as well. Okay. Which is a 21 to hit. It hits. You take seven points of damage. And I need you to make another strength saving throw, please. Negative one. <laughs> oh, shit. Ooh. Okay. Ouch. So, um, 
You are now engulfed. Uh, you now are restrained and no longer can breathe. Hmm. So, uh, let's see. Okay, we'll get there when we get there. Um, all right. And because of that, it, you are now engulfed with it. So you're kind of like a part of it like this. Um, and it is going to you guys watch as it engulfs Shoki and then dives back into the bog. But I think both of you get attack of opportunities. Te- technically. Because it's, it's not like a teleport or anything like that. Should have just took the gnome. Damn. All right. So, what did you get, uh, Ugaton? Oh wait, wait, what? Oh, sorry. You wait. both get attack, attack opportunities. Of opportunity. Oh shit! Because okay, it, it just it just took Shoki and dived back into the water. Uh, yes, I hit something. All right. I think I hope. Did you roll with God advantage? Twenty-four. No. Okay. Because yeah, because uh, you can't. Would it be flanking though? Since no, because sh- she's she's gone, so it doesn't okay. count as flanking. So twenty-four to hit does hit, and then what did you get, Moira? Uh, Sixteen. Both of them hit. Cool. Nice. And it will take. And look, please. Oh, this one. Fourteen points of slashing damage for me. Whoa! What the fuck? I rolled a six and a five. That's pretty good. Uh, seven points of, uh, slashing. Okay. For me. Um. I only rolled something good. I guess technically both of you have dealt the final strike at the same time, because it would have happened at the same time. So I guess this um, counts for uh, both of you. Please, the both of you, describe how you end this creature's fate. I mean, I'm just stabbing it. I kind of see the key creature take the gnome that seems kind of weird, kind of like, I don't know, uh, dumb, I guess. And I just kind of take my rapier and I'm like, I have not hit a single thing this entire time. I'm just kind of like fucking sl- slash like menace. Okay. And you watch as the creature just dives in and you expect it to pop up somewhere. And you just watch as Shoki's body just floats up out of the mud and is just lying there once again, like full spread out, like doing a snow angel. Are, are you can, are you okay? Can I rub mud again on my face as if it was a mask again? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, if you are fucking sunbathing again, I'm gonna punch you. <laughs> I'll cast the light Same things. Cover again. <laughs> For that brief you... moment, you were not breathing. You were fully blind. You, were... it was not good. And now I you're seeing the light. Vision. You're seeing the light now. Are you alive? Please say no. I don't know, man. All right, I'm leaving. Goodbye. Um, you watch and I just as start walking away. The, the creature's like body as well begins to float to the surface, and as it does, you see from the trees. A, an opening, excuse me, an opening from within the trees, um, kind of like a, like a gateway. And you could see, excuse me, sorry, um, coming out from it is this small, maybe a foot to foot, a uh, foot and a half tall individual with wings coming from the back. Um, you could see um, decked out in a very beautifully like extravagant like suit like you could see that there's like furs like throughout very um for lack of a better term like a pimp uh very extravagant wearing a really nice like fedora cap that's tilted downwards some like very curly hair coming out of the side uh the pointed ears basically it looks like a really small elf with wings which for everybody make a history check Uh, that's yeah. a decent roll for once. Uh, another, another, another fucking ten. Fifteen. So two tens, a fourteen, and a fifteen. Yep. yep. Okay. 
14 and 15. 14 and 15. I'm keeping track now. You, so it's kind of odd because there's a lot of creatures in this world that fit that description. Uh, Sprite, Fairy, and Pixie. Uh, The two of you who rolled 10, it's kind of ambiguous. You can't really tell. You don't know a lot about the details. So you can't discern. Uh, But the two of you uh, identify via the wing shape that this uh, appears to be a Pixie. Uh, very extravagantly dressed, um, which for you, um, Torchic, because your name has not been said, um, that contributes to what Yuri was saying about the Feywild. Because creatures of that nature tend to dwell here. And you watch as this creature is flying, yet is holding a cane, and kind of just has it slung on the shoulder, and says... Well, well, look at you. You did it. Ah, I knew I had a lot of money on you. Congratulations. Yeah, what's it's up? at this point, I, my sword what's is... Up? I was putting it away, and now I've taken it back. That's fine. You don't have to can, kill me. That's fine. No, that's fine. Can I be, like, a cartoon character, and with my winged boots, can I do, like, the, like, I'm running in the air, and just bolt towards him, and just, like... <laughs> Start kneeling and bowing. No, you don't. Hey, no, nah, nah, you don't. You got. You don't have to kneel to me. It's okay. I'm. I'm not like royalty or anything. It's fine. You don't have to. You don't have to do that. You can get up. Get up. Good. Look I wasn't planning on it. No, nah, I don't. Yeah, okay. So See, what? Uh, what do you mean? You have have money on us? Yeah. This is a. This is like a. You know, a fight ring. Right. It's got like a, we got bets, stuff like that. You know what I mean? I would do. Uh, I would doing a fucking battle royale. Is this Fight Club? Yeah, it's like a Fight Club. Yeah, it's like oh, it's like a. We don't speak of that. Well, yeah. you just oh, well, we don't talk about you just Fight Club. The first rule, sir. Yeah, 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 you already broke the fucking rule, so uh, I might have to get you killed. But it's fine. Don't worry about it. Hey, listen, listen, you guys you won. Know, we could just kill you. Nah, it's fine. No, nah, you don't. I did, I did not consent to this. I have a hangover. That's. I, 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 I just killed Arcanine. That's fine. You're alive. You're alive. It's okay. Listen, come on, come on inside. I'll get you some drinks. It'll be a good time. Come on, get in. He's inside. Wait, wait, wait. I'll wait, show wait, you. Wait, come wait, on, wait. come here, come here, come here. So did, is he did, flying did you say drinks? right now? Yeah, he's flying. Yeah, he's a, he's a. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's he's gonna need a big old insight check on that one. I, Go ahead. Can I st- yeah, um so. try and seal his hat? <laughs> sure. With my <laughs> his hat. Do I do sleight of hand? Yeah, do sleight of hand. Seventeen on the inside check for me. Three. Okay. Ten. Okay, so you don't know Honestly, anything, Moira. You try to steal the hat. And he says, "Ah, no, 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 no! Don't touch the merchandise. <laughs> Get away from me!" All right. Inside for you, Torchic. Um, I mean, he's shifty. He's a pixie, and he doesn't seem full of shit. Like he told you the truth, but like also. Yeah, you guys didn't, like, consent to that or anything. So, like... But he's not fucking with you. Um, yeah, I'll put the old back in the cloak. Okay. Uh, Ugleton, what were you gonna say? Sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Pex. Did you say you had drinks? Yeah, of course I got drinks. I got all the, uh, any kind of drink you want, kid. Come on. I don't care about any of y'all. I'm going. Yeah, see, that's you what I'm talking drinks. about. Healing potions, that that thing hurts. Ah, uh, yeah, I, I can I can figure it out. Listen, come on, uh, come on. No, I don't, I don't need I, I don't I, I don't need healing potions. I need I, need I do. Alcohol. I was talking about me, dumbass. Come on, let's go. Well, I, it's it's like gross well, in here. It smells it smells like shit. Come on, let's go inside. Yeah, let's go. Chop, chop. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, drinks, drinks, drinks. All right. So as you guys walk through the veil, you kind of like it kind of opens like a curtain, and you walk in to this gigantic like club. There are like lights floating about. There are a variety of pixies, fairies, sprites, uh, kind of just chilling there. A bunch of different creatures. Um, you can see that there are, you know, kegs of alcohol all over the place. There's like booths. There's food. There's music being played um, by uh, various uh, musicians. Um, and you walk in, and you can see the pixie, kind of like. If you could sit in air, like with his legs crossed, is kind of what he's doing. He's like, it's pretty good, huh? You like you like this? I like this a lot. This is pretty good. I fucking like this a lot. Healing, where? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait. Yeah, what, what's up? There's, there's positions? Yeah, of course. It's a, this is a club, baby. Okay? What do you think this is? What, do you, what, do you, what, think, what, what kind of business do you think I'm running here? Do, do you have a bagpipe? Do I have a bagpipe? That's like asking me if I got massive amounts of money in my pocket. I got everything you could ask for. 
Hold on, can I money? borrow a bagpipe? Please? Shit, you could have a bagpipe. No, you made me a lot of money tonight. I can, I can, you can have whatever you want. Give him a bagpipe. Yeah. Give him a bagpipe. No. Can, give me a bagpipe. Can I stick it in that? No, I'm going to need Give me a bagpipe. You want a bagpipe too? All right, yeah. everybody gets fucking bagpipes today, boys. Let's go. Come on. All right, let's go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play on my bagpipe. Just kind of just freaking... You watch At this point, I turn to the, the other the other guy whose name I don't know yet. So these guys are idiots. Can we can we just abandon them? Get out of here on our own. Do, do I hear this? I mean, <laughs> Make a I'm not check. trying to let you. Oh, what you're being you you're being quiet about it. I mean, I'm trying. I don't want them to hear, but I'm not like. We'll say you're too preoccupied with the bagpipes right now. Hey, we're both. Killing it right now. Yeah, you guys watch as <laughs> some, some pixies uh, carrying backpacks Shredding for you guys. Um, so he brings you to this table. You guys are sitting around this table. You get brought your bagpipes. You get brought back some drinks, healing potions, stuff like that. So everybody gets a short rest for this instance. Um, we could just say you heal up to full. Um, just so we don't have to mess around with all that. So you can just get all your hit points back. Um, but spells and stuff, if you used them, will just stay used for now. Um, you watch so the pixie sits down, um, kind of has a small little drink, uh, in his hand. He says, Hey, you put on a, a hell of a performance. That was uh, pretty impressive. Actually. I, I, I thought for sure you were going to die, but I still put money that you would live. Cause that's uh, that's part of the, it's part of the gamble. You know, you understand? What's our cut? <laughs> You're alive. That's your cut. Hon honestly, that's leave. fair. That sounds fair. Yes, yes, right? I mean, come on. See, this guy gets it. You, this, this guy gets How do we go it. home? I mean, I get drinks. I am happy. What do you mean home? I don't know. Where the fuck are we? You're not from here? I mean, you're all pretty I mean, fucking uh, weird, I so know. I thought maybe you just lived... I thought you were just part of the... You're not from the Feywild or anything like that? No? No. 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 Oh. Maybe. That sounds wild. That's interesting. Okay, so wait a minute. Let me get this straight. So... I found all you knocked the fuck out in various parts of this area. And so I just brought you here because, you know, money's money. <laughs> so, you know, I just thought I might as well. Um, but I just thought you were like all like really fucked up, like got drunk and passed out. But are you not from? Are you not from? He might here? have gotten drunk. I don't know I'm what drunk. the fuck happened. I'm hungover. I'm always drunk. Well, I can tell that one. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. So where, where are you? F are you not from here? No. No. Where the fuck are you from? Honestly, I don't know. I I woke up. I was drunk last night. Anybody know? I the don't remember. Spell? I have a silent spell. Please cast it on the show. No. <laughs> <laughs> We're from the well. I'm from the material plane. I don't know where these guys are from. They look like they're from the material plane. Mm -hmm. Wait, whatever this that is, is. The material plane? No. Oh. No. This is the this is the Feywild kid. It's pretty nice, huh? You like it? You want to stay? Come stay with us. No, I, I don't know. I don't want to stay. This is we cool. Nearly just this died. Cool. Party, just, party. Let's party. Let's party. I'm sitting there party. dangling my legs in the chair, right? Have my hand raised silently. Yeah. This How ain't, do I go home? This ain't a fucking classroom. What? What's up? What do you? What do you want? Can I have your hat? No, you cannot have my hat. Get your hand. Like swats your yeah. hand out of the way because it's reaching for the hat. You're not allowed to have the hat. Yeah. I gave you the bagpipe so you wouldn't want the hat. I can make you your own fucking hat if that's what you want. Can I have my own hat? I will. I go. Girls, go get him a hat. Go get him a hat. Yes. Right. Women in hats. All right. Listen. So you you haven't talked very much. What's your what's your deal, man? Huh? Me. Yeah. Well. Same as them. How do we get home? I don't know. I thought you were from here. I mean, listen, that, I mean, there has been a little bit of like a weird occurrence. Uh, a lot of people from, a lot of people got missing. I didn't really take it as a weird thing. These like, um, what do you call them? These like weird, like magical things started popping up and like people were like going in, but like, it was weird. It was real weird. Um, like a portal or something. I don't, I don't know. A lot of them started popping up around the place. That would make sense, actually. That's how you guys... That would make a lot of sense now that I think about it. How long do they last? Like, standing there? That's a the good portal. question, actually. I mean, this is the first time this has ever happened, honestly. I mean, I know that there's ways to get back to the material plane. Like, it, you know, it's, it takes a lot of, like, magic and, like, a lot of, like, 
very uh, intuitive things. Uh, but these like just kind of started like sporadically showing up. Um, uh, I can I can get some information for you if that's what like yes. I mean I'd like you to stay oh, I'd like you to stay you you brought a lot of money for me but also I'm not gonna keep you captive it's, especially if you're not from here I feel kind of bad I feel a little bad I'm not gonna lie I feel a little bad I mean I wouldn't mind staying here I mean you're welcome to stay go now before you end up like that dog if if, if I if I get free drinks then I'm just uh, happy I okay okay I'll keep that one in mind yeah listen I'll um. Look, I feel kind of bad. I don't really, but like, you guys, you guys won. You deserve to be free. Um, so uh, I'll, I'll get someone to look into it and see what's going on. Um, when I found you, there were no portals next to you, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Well, that's which, not good. Which I guess maybe, oh, shit, maybe they're, uh, maybe they're disappearing. Can I roll an inside take check? Sure. Uh, what is my insight? That's a good question. But, um, what is it? Starting to feel like where is it? Wisdom saving there it is. They don't murder this man. <laughs> dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. Um, he seems to be telling the truth. Nothing seems out of the ordinary with what he's saying. I mean, everything seems out of the ordinary with the context, but it doesn't Damn. like he's he makes sense. Um, he says that might actually hmm, that might actually explain a little bit. I mean, maybe they're um slowly going away maybe like if they weren't there when you showed up how'd you get here you obviously had to come through somehow right anybody hey, we were kidnapped anybody study like you know plane or travel or something at this point i'm just gonna like fiddle with what looks like nothing on my finger but i'm fiddling with a ring and just like yuri your thoughts Oh, I have plenty of wonderful thoughts at this very moment. Um, listen, this is all types of weird. It's extremely really? unconventional. But pl planar travel, that's a serious little conundrum you have yourselves gotten into. If, if what he says is true, which, I mean, he doesn't seem like he's lying. I mean, he just seems kind of weird. If that's true, portals are just popping up out of nowhere. I mean, if that's the case, you're never going to find a portal before it closes or or what have you. I mean, it's hard, you can't track them. If there was nothing there when he found you, how are you going to know where to find one? Well, that's... Shit. I mean, you sit around and you wait for one that could take could take forever. You don't know. One may never appear where you decide to look for one. It's all circumstantial. I love circumstantial. Just come back into not spacing out. Mm. Well, I've got no clue. No, I'm getting kind of curious here, Mr. Horny Tiefling Fang. Horny, your horns, I think. I would like it if you do not describe me as horny. Oh, yeah, okay, 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 okay. Well, I, I know, I don't know your name. What's your name? I'm kind of, kind of curious. Oh, God, here we go. He says Zadorus. Eatsies? B says. B B Eatsies. Okay, 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 okay. I see. I see. Olive Garden, you can't be talking. Olive Garden. What the? What is the Olive Garden? I don't know. I don't know. Some restaurant on the Material Plane that I used to work at part time. It's 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 a whole thing. Your name just sounds a lot like it. Fair, fair, fair. Uh, okay, 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 okay. But, but, Mister Feces, right? No, Feces. Please spell Feces. it for us. Feces. Feces. Can I just write it down in abyssal just to confuse them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You you take yeah. a napkin yeah, and like a piece of a napkin and a piece of charcoal and you just write it in abyssal. Anybody speak abyssal? No. no. <laughs> Rip. Yeah, you, you. It just 
a bunch of words. Ah, yeah, that says that says feces. Okay, okay, okay. So, so you seem like you you space out a lot. Are you like dumb or something? At this point, I'm trying to flag down a bartender oh, no, he, he, drinks uh, to get as many he, as possible. He to this, oh, no. uh, this time, can I cast the sky self? Okay. Yeah. No. What are you disguising um, yourself as? I want to disguise myself as feces. Okay. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Woman. I want to be tall. Okay. I mean, you don't, um, you don't actually. This guy's self does yeah. have a limit. You don't actually tall become tall. Though. So now you're a three foot version of Moira. <laughs> Even better. You look stunning. But what the fuck was that? <laughs> Can I just stand right next to her? Yeah. Un <laughs> and just try and hold her hand? <laughs> it's, the same, it's the same person. It's just a shorter version. Yeah. I try and grab your hand. <laughs> You'll feel as 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 you grab my hand, it starts to hurt a little bit, and I'm gonna use one of my points of lay on hands. <laughs> All right, so harming hands. Which, which, yeah. Okay, you take one which point of necrotic weird. damage. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> it's like a, it's like a, it's like the little thing you put in your hand. It's like the shock thing for the handshake. It's like uh -huh. a shock buzzer. Don't touch me. I don't. I don't like being touched. Can I scuttle off again and go sit in the corner? <laughs> okay, yeah. You guys are just like slapping, shocking, hurting this gnome. Yeah, and just and just sit there looking like her for an hour. That's how long it lasts. You see the pixie's just taking a sip of his drink. Wow, you're one uh, weird fucking group. You're one weird ass group. Um, listen, I'll uh, I'll get some people to figure out what's going on, and uh, you know, just I don't know. You guys can do whatever you want. Uh, if you want, I can, I can get you a place to stay if you're gonna sleep. I don't know if you guys want to sleep. You guys slept for a really long time, so like, I don't, I don't know. I would like to sleep. Yeah, right. See, seeing that the gnome has been basically abused, um, Olive Garden is gonna try to hit on the gnome. Oh, great, okay. Let's see how this plays out. Uh, hey, it's, hey, it's, hey, Shulky. Yeah. You, uh, you're looking kind of cute tonight. I look like that tall lady right now. What? Well, 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 well. Said it got me right now. Shit. Well, uh, um, <clears throat> you, you're looking better when you're, you're yourself. <laughs> <laughs> That's a diss. That was a backhanded comment, if I've ever seen it. I'll just, I slowly get off my chair and walk away. <laughs> you see, you see the pixie floats up to you and he says, he puts his hand on your shoulder. Yeah, nice, nice try there, bud. That, that was, that was real good. That was real oh, good. If you look at uh, me, I'm just flipping you off. Well... <sighs> Old Gordon just has this like kind of like I gotta stop drinking like expression on his face. Yes. Can I like can what I the cast, fuck? Can I cast a minor illusion? Sure. I'm um, also going can to I cast a a woman right next to Olive Garden? <laughs> okay. All right. You watch as a, a, a what kind of woman? Oh no. Um. A, a, Half half elf, I guess, trying to okay. see what happens. So you watch as a half elven woman walks up to you, Ulgotin. Um, what's the save to discern whether or not it's an illusion? I'm gonna use thaumaturgy to it just make her say hi. In a very it only lasts for a minute. Manner. How does how does he know if it's an illusion or not? I'm trying to figure that out. Um, uh, it's, it's a cantrip. Uh, you create a sound or image in, um, of an object within a range of the last duration. The illusion ends if you dismiss it uh, or cast a spell again. Okay. Um, make, if uh, you create an image uh, uh, larger than a five foot cube. Oh, so it only could be, yeah, it can be five foot. Uh, image can't create sound, light, smell, or any other sensory effects. So it's just, uh, just a woman. 
Okay, let's say an intelligence check. Be, yeah. Make an intelligence check to see if you can discern this is real or fake. I'm casting um, until... thaumaturgy to make her say hi in a very seductive manner yeah. to him. Okay. Um, until he goes up and touches her, you... then she disappears. Okay. Do we want to give me disadvantage because she says hi? Yeah, I'll say disadvantage for that. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Give him a little, little seductive wink. Where the f- There's the dice. Okay. This is... Oh. I rolled... Both of them are low, but... Uh, or tag team. Uh, seven. Man. Seven. Uh, you see this very beautiful half elven woman who says hello in a uh, very seductive tone to you. Do a seductive tone. Well, do it. Yeah, well, do it. Do it. Well, hello. <laughs> do it. Baby kind of like tries to like put my hand on her like like chilling and pull my face towards her like and to lean in for a kiss. Okay, the second you try to... To put your your hands and caress her face, they go through, and you watch as the illusion, the your 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 visage dream of woman. your dream woman has just disappeared in front of you into the mist. Start breaking out, motherfucking again! Why does it keep happening to <laughs> not me? Not again? What do you mean, not again? <laughs> does this happen to you on the regular? Do you do women just disappear whenever you touch them? This is the fucking. Fifth time, what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> you see, you see, you see Shoki and Moira just laughing their asses off right now. And does Olive Garden have like a beer in his hand right now or something? Uh, were you drinking? I get, yeah, I, I, I guess I have um, a beer in my hand. Can I take, can I use Mage Hand and just take it? <laughs> yeah, you look down and your drink's gone. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, who, who the fuck is pulling me right now? Who is taking my hand up and walking towards you, you Shoki? Don't, you don't, you don't mess with an alcoholic spear. Walking chaos. Oh what is going on? Does he notice it's me? Uh, I mean, where did you put it? It's in my hand right now. Then yeah, but I've walked away a little bit. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, we'll say he thinks it's you. I just yell as loud as I can. Shoggy! Yeah? What the fuck are you doing? Get me back I my beer! Get me back my fucking beer, Riley. And I ch- I'm gonna chug ass. it. I just chugged it. She just downs <laughs> it. I'm gonna walk towards her and we'll sniff the fuck out of her. What do you do? <laughs> we'll sniff you. Get my wife's name out your motherfucking <laughs> mouth. Get my beer you be my out your motherfucking mouth. You literally, this is the second time this gnome has been slapped. In in the matter of an hour and, and a half. I, and and also, I deal damage. And she got zapped. Okay, yeah, well, make an, attack, have well have make an attack roll okay. first. Unless you're, okay, just, okay. you're letting him hit it. Are you trying to dodge out of the way? Mm-mm. Oh, then just do damage. What's the yeah. damage? I think one hit point of damage. You take one hit just point. One. Just. <laughs> I am having so much fun. Okay. Are you having fun with no women? <laughs> <laughs> you know. You know what? You know what? You fucking little piece of shit. <gasps> can, can Can I try to like take her on this like? Over. <laughs> Throw her. <laughs> Pick her up by the scruff. That's a, I think that's a strength check. Yeah, it's a strength check. See if I you would, can even lift I her. Would... Probably not. Have they attracted any attention? Oh, there's this is this is causing a scene for sure. At this point, now I I'm intervening. I rolled six. Yeah, you, I'm intervening. You try to pick her up and you watch as Moira puts a hand on your shoulder and separates the two of you. What the fuck, Moira? Knock it off. <laughs> and I'll use thaumaturgy to like amplify my voice so it's even louder. It like echoes. It's like, knock it off. Oh, oh, oh. Um, I let the. Oh, bro, I only have a headache. Don't give me another one. Disguise. I let the disguise go away. So now I'm just sitting there. Okay. You see. Oh, Moira, why are you giving me headaches? What the fuck? You're an alcoholic. You have them all the time, no matter what. Well, now I have. Go get yourself another drink. Now I have two at the same time. You see the the pixie rolls up. 
<laughs> okay, all right, all right, all right. It's fine. Come on. Let's all calm down. Let's all relax. We don't need to cause a scene. I'm running an establishment here, and you're causing a lot of problems. So, how about you Can just... I try to kiss the pixie? <laughs> Hmm. How does one Still roll? Still holding on to your shoulder. How does one roll this? Um, would it be like kind of pers- acrobatics? The way I'm like of kind of trying to do it. Of hand. Acrobatics is pretty funny. <laughs> Sleight of hand. Yes, I guess like acrobatics. I guess fine. persuasion. I don't know. I would say persuade. Oh, general. Charisma. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm general kind of charisma. To, like, walk- general charisma. Okay. Oh no, Ooh. that's a plus four. Cool, yeah. I mean, persuasion would have been plus eight, but who cares? Ten. Seventeen. Seventeen. Plus four. No. Twenty-one. All right, are you? Are we talking a kiss on the cheek, a kiss on the lips, like on the forehead? Or a like, kiss what, anywhere else? What are we talking? What, what kind of kiss are we talking here? You have one guess. On the lips. On the lips, okay. You you just walk up, you you just kiss him on the lips. You you look you look at him and he's like, All right, well listen, I you know what? That was that was pretty nice. I'm flattered. I'm really, really I'm flattered actually. Um, as soon as he does that, but, I grab um, him by like the throat. Like I'm literally grasping his throat and I turn him towards me. Pull any more shit. <laughs> And you'll take more, you'll you'll get slapped more than she's gotten slapped. I mean, I liked it a little <laughs> bit. And I just kind of like, clap him. I just kind of drop him. All right, listen. listen. <coughs> you watch as the pixie, like, like the rosy cheeks have disappeared. Right, listen. Okay, okay. Listen, that was a nice, that was a nice little distraction. But uh, listen, okay. Welcome. Yeah, there's like sweat on his brow. Um. <clears throat> anyway, anyway, listen. You guys are causing a scene, so if you could leave, that would be lovely. We don't have a place to go. I, I mean, like she go sleep. I'd set up like rooms and shit. Gladly. For you. Yeah. Show us to our rooms. Yeah. Come Split on. These do do that. Everybody gets their own room. I'm tired of this shit. Okay. Good. All right. Let's can, go. Can, 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 I can't share the room with you. Let's talk later. Let's talk later. Anyway. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. That's for later. Meet me out here in like a half an hour, okay? Anyway. <laughs> anyway, listen. Go. Get out of here. You fucking piss off. You guys are I'm going sick. straight to sleep. You guys I've had enough of okay. this shit. Moira, can you go I, to sleep. Can I ask of one more request from the pixie? <clears throat> yeah, what do you want? What do, yeah, what do you... Can I get some sheets of paper and some ink? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I can Yeah, I can do that. How much? Thank you. Just like 10 sheets. Okay, yeah. Alright, I'll get that to your room in like couple minutes don't worry about that thank you and i go to my room not asleep but i go to my room okay um (laughs) feces what do you do i am going to finally bring in my familiar okay you watch you do your little ritual and you watch as your pseudo dragon in a puff of smoke is kind of sitting there just kind of I think I roll the health now. Yes, you would roll the health now. Okay. It's going exactly how it did earlier. It went exactly how it did earlier. Okay. That's six health. Okay. So your pseudo dragon has six health. All right. Um, what color is your pseudo dragon? <laughs> Looks just like me. Okay. Like purple. Really dark black with a purplish tint. Alrighty. Uh, do you have a name? Upper. Okay. All right. All right. So that happens. Um, right. So you go to sleep. You summon your familiar. What are you doing with the paper as it has been delivered to you? Um, I'm writing some like stuff down on it, and I go to um, is uh, feces asleep, or like is he in his room? At this point, I don't think he'd be asleep, but he's in his room. Okay, can I go knock on the door? Okay. Knock, knock, knock. <laughs> what? Um, can I cast Minor Illusion and just play, like, classical music in the background, but bagpipe classical music? Yes, of course. And, like, Love Actually, the movie Love Actually, I hold up the sheets of paper, <laughs> and it reads, um, you may be wondering why I'm here, I pull it away. 
I don't know what's going on wait, on pulling away, but you barely talk, pull away. Um, I would like some help, <laughs> pull away. I just want to get out of here, pull away, please, pull away, help, pull away. And then I just suddenly like, what the fuck is that? Do I see the familiar? <laughs> sure, yeah. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> So at this point, I'd just be lying on my bed like this. Uh, the familiar is going to fly up towards Shoki. And from the familiar... It's my familiar. I don't know what that is. <laughs> and, I, and, I wa and I waddle into his room and I just sit on the ground as I pull out a paradise and just start rolling it. What are you doing? I'm bored. I can't. I can't make a ruckus with that Olive Garden guy anymore. So now I have nothing else to do. Have you come here to give me fake women to seduce? <laughs> Unless you want some, but I wasn't planning on it. No. Well, I was trying to see if you knew any information because you seem to just stand there a lot and just silently stare off into space and it's kind of weird what's up with that i'm talking um i don't hear any words coming out of your mouth in my head <laughs> someone's got voices and i chuckle to myself <laughs> i um, do actually oh okay and i just walk in the room surprised <laughs> I want to and point out that my... this entire time, this pseudo dragon has been talking to you, not me. Oh, and <laughs> yeah, the words were coming out of the pseudo dragon's mouth. <laughs> so just weird it out. I walk out of a room and go to bed. Okay, in your head, that uh, worked. He says, "Wow, this every day, you know, I feel like maybe we're a step." towards greatness and then shit like this happens and i feel like we've just gone right back to the bottom of the barrel to be honest pretty entertaining oh it's extremely entertaining but by gods it is extremely frustrating that i can't physically go out and strangle each one of them oh do, do you want me to it would be my greatest pleasure but i think we need to play nice <clears throat> Just gonna click my tongue at that. Right, well, get your rest. We need sleep so we can try to figure out what to do. Just gonna conk out. Alright, Moira's already asleep. Um, Ulgoten. Yes. What What does your night entail? Well, my night entails meeting the pixie. Okay. <laughs> We're just gonna let that one go. Oh, um, I don't think we're I want a full description. <laughs> no, I don't think you'll be. AEC no, I, 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 honestly, I know written. I'm playing. I know I'm playing the down bad but Bart, but can we, can, please not. Yeah, I think I think we're just gonna <laughs> well, Bart, we're just gonna say it. you have a few just dreams. Your imagination. Your I want this on Wattpad. <laughs> Do I roll a d8? What? Can you roll a d8? Okay, let's let's. Okay, we'll play we'll play for a little bit, just for, but not any of the bad shit. So you go out, you meet the pixie. <laughs> He's currently sitting there in his fancy uniform, not uniform, in his fancy attire, his nice hat. He's got a drink in his hand. There's currently a drink set on the table across from him. Uh, hey, I got you. I got you a little, a little drink already. If you, if you wouldn't, you know, if you care to have it. God damn, I don't mind if I do. I love drinks, especially yeah. if they're free. Of course they're free. And this is the, this is that good shit. This is the Fey, the Fey Wild stuff. You know what I mean? Some good stuff right oh, here. Oh, I love that shit. That shit. The Fey Wild fire. shit. But maybe Fey Wild in the Fey night. Fey Wild. Oh, oh. That dude was sounding <laughs> kind of wild, though. <laughs> so, um, what's, uh, what's your name, man? Oh, my name is, uh, Old Golden. That's a nice name. What, what about Old you? Good. Oh, me? You could call me Butters. <laughs> oh, by the way, can I have my, like, familiar follow? Because, like, I can see yeah, you can through see. my familiar. I'm, I'm just going to have my familiar follow this. Okay, yeah, so your familiar is just sitting away. You so can... I'm just watching this all happen. You're seeing the whole thing happen. Oh, oh Butters, that's a, 
That's a beautiful name for a beautiful pixie. Thank you. That's a, that's a very nice of you to say. Yeah, you're not too bad yourself. Uh, I know that kiss was a little impromptu, but, you know, I think I kind of, you know, I kind of liked it a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Well, it's, it's, it's as I always say, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. That's a good philosophy. He goes ahead and he, he raises his glass to cheers you. <laughs> and they do the same cheer. All right. And then we cut to black. Um, <laughs> because cause fuck all that. Um, this does have to go on YouTube after all. Yeah, we cut to black. Um, please roll a I just, D8. I just want to I, I point out roll a that's the first time I've had beep in the D&D. Oh, really? Good for you. Yeah. Torchic did it last time and he was a bard. So, that know. was the bard. Let's go, Torchic! Anyway, uh, no, so I've never played a bard. Wait, okay. did you say D8? You're D only, only Tem, sorry. I, I should have mentioned that. Tem is rolling oh. a D8. Okay. Yeah. How good it is. <laughs> I rolled a two. So after about two hours. Um, well, hours? I go four minutes. Oh, yeah, I, I know. I know minutes. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> you, listen, buddy. Okay. You were a different breed. Okay. It was also for fun. So two hours go by uh, before the night is, or not the night, but. The escapade has ceased. So, Butters has left to do his own things. Um, and you all get a long rest. Thank God. Um, and uh, you wake up the next morning. And uh, you see Butters once again in his very extravagant out A different outfit this time. Uh... Yeah, good morning, good morning. I hope you guys had a good night. He looks over to Ulgotin uh, and winks. Um, so hopefully you guys slept well. I got some information. If you if you're curious, yes. Um, so apparently, please. What's happening uh, is that so uh, the the like the veils between the two planes, this one and yours, uh, apparently combined with one another and basically travel between the two has become easier but it's unstable like really unstable which would make sense as to how you all got here you just got like pulled in and then the portals disappeared because apparently the veil they're pulling apart from each other very slowly so if you don't find a portal back, you're gonna be stuck here f for a while. Yeah, let's do that nah. then. Yeah, please. We think we found one. Th they're sporadic and they're disappearing and reappearing. Um, can what? I cast a minor illusion and have what, what I assume what the portal would look like? Have I show up like right in the middle of our conversation? <laughs> okay. You guys watch as a portal just appears. Well, fuck. Well, what's the thing to <laughs> right, see the illusion? See you later. I turn, yeah, I turn to the rock gnome. <laughs> I also Because I know the shit she likes to I'm pull. just like twiddling my thumbs. Uh, general intelligence checks for everybody. I guess before we, we go for the portal, can I have stolen a uh, bottle of wine? Sure, yeah. Thank you. That's a, it's a dirty one. Okay, you that's don't. A fif that's a 15. What's your spell save? My spell save? Yeah. Uh, That's a five. Where do I see that? Do, uh, I don't know where the spell save is. Butters failed. Uh, of course he did. Wait, uh, where do I find click, the spell Butters kind of hot, uh, not gonna lie. Clicking his spells, it's save 14. Uh, 14, yeah. Okay, so, Fisais, you're the only one who notices that it's bullshit. Uh... <laughs> Flapper, or whatever I called him, is just going to crawl its way from me onto Shoki, and just <laughs> in Shoki's ear. No. <laughs> Can I just like kind of like kind of sink into my cloak? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can. <laughs> just sinking. Butter, okay. Butter still is just like, all right, you guys gonna like go? I mean, this is some fucking crazy ass shit. I mean, let's go. Come on, get out of here. Let's go. 
I, I would try and step through it at that point. All right. Uh, it disappears. Ah, shit. I told you they disappear quick. I, I, I immediately turn towards the rock gnome and just give her the, the death stare. Ah, shit. Is that one of, is that one of them, their illusions? Damn. Damn, she got I us. shake my head. She got us good. That's a good one right there. <laughs> Anywho, uh, listen. You want a third slap? We, we, we can I give it to it her, please? I'm thinking more. <laughs> and mine will hurt even more. When do you want to make it four? Lapper just clips the back of Chalky's head. All right, listen. I feel like there's a lot of like there's a lot of hatred going about. Listen, can I slap I, her too? I want to go home. <laughs> okay, line. I get it. I some of my people said they think they found one, but it's like it's like four hours away. Okay, and they so don't. We should be they, don't they don't know if it's gonna still be there. You might be wasting your time. I don't care. We're going. Let's go. Okay, all right. All right, listen. Butters, I'm sorry. It sounds like they need me. Uh, it's okay. I, I have to I have to leave you. I'm sorry. He puts his hand on your I face. I care for you. He puts his hand on your face. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. It's fine. You know, we'll meet again one day. From, it's okay. I go in for one last kiss. He gives you a, a beautifully passionate kiss. <laughs> How long, though? As How that's long happening, as that's happening, I grab him by the collar and just start pulling him in the direction we're going. <laughs> Could you fucking fuck off? I'm right. trying to fucking have a moment here. You guys, Leaving. You guys be safe. Maybe Bastard. I'll see you again. You know, have a good time. You're always welcome Bye, here. Brothers. I love you. I love you too. Get out of here. Under my breath. Get out of here. I, I, I hope not. I hope we never have to come back to this goddamn place. <laughs> right. I, I so want to go back in my life. All right. I do not. I hate it here. Beatsies, what did you say? I want to go away from you. I second that motion. I'm... He's mute. He what? He's muted. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean I'm muted? He's back now. He's back now. He's back now. That was funny. Oh my! Oh oh shit! I I oh I think I hit the. <laughs> that was so funny. The no uh, I tolerate. I I say I had something. The oh, funny. But, but but like but like if you want a beer, I can just brew a beer. For you, if, or, or alcohol. When you like, find us a way that. out, we will consider you useful. Until then, you are useless. But, but I killed the 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 dog. I killed the dog. The gnome. We killed, killed the dog. You. Okay, I'm sorry, but I was hungover. That's not my fault. When are you Too not hungover? Just got a point. I have I haven't not been hungover for. Oh, I want to say 16 years. I walked away the second you said I've not been hungover. It's gone. I I follow. Oh, I'd like to point out I'm still speaking through the dragon. I've just I'm refusing to speak. Yeah, no at more this spe point. No more speaking for you. That is fucking oh, rude. I, wish I could do the same. You know what? These these people are bastards. Like I kind of talking under my breath. All right. So I'm still pulling I'm him gonna, along by the collar, I, by the way. I'm not going to heal any any of them. I did that. Like, I'm Fuck. still pulling him. Okay. All right, so... Could you fucking stop? Once there are no more people for you to seduce, I will let you go. Well, you are still here, aren't you? Try me, bitch. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> Make an intimidation check. <laughs> Hells yeah. What the hell is my intimidation? What is happening? What? Oh, oh, hey, no. my intimidation is good. That is what the fuck. Oh, it's uh twenty-four. Yeah, uh, you you pee a little bit. I think I pissed my pants. It's at this point I've just let go and continued walking without him. Okay. <laughs> so uh, somebody make a survival check to see if you can even head in the right direction that you were told to go. I think I left first, so I'm gonna just go and boom, boom. Yeah, mine is shit anyways. Five. If somebody wow. wants to help him, I'll let. Thirteen. I'll, okay. Can I? Can I help? We'll say all of you. You're me. all kind of doing it together, so it's fine. Wait, what? What were we? <laughs> Survival. 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 Oh, okay. I uh, I am oh. not. I am not of help. I wrote. I wrote more than ten this time. 
15. Okay, so 13 oh, no. to 15. Yeah. Actually, Ulgoten, you immediately kind of start like taking the charge and you're like, you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm gonna... They think I'm stupid. They think I'm worthless. They think I'm nothing. You are. You start taking the charge and you're like, yes. we need to go this way. And you start leading yeah. them through the... Yeah, the... Ayo feces, you fucking dumb. We need to go that way, you fucking um... dumbass. Uh, I do have one quick question. I'm looking at my tools, and it says vehicles land. Does that mean I can drive? Like, I, I'm gonna, like... You could, could drive, like, a horse and carriage, but you guys don't have a horse and carriage right now. Okay. Could... Did been. we leave far from the guy, the pixie? Uh, I mean, I guess it depends on how long you guys would have traveled for. Before, like, Cause I would, Because I would like to go back and ask if I can have one. Uh, okay, you go back. Where are you, um, where are you going? I'm, I've just been following the gnome. Okay, you go back. Um, <laughs> Feeds gnome, come back. <laughs> I reluctantly follow. You, uh, you ask, uh, the fuck's a horse? Shit. <laughs> uh, do you what? have any? Is that, that like can a, go is, on land? Is that like a material plane thing? Like, what's what's yeah. a horse? Is that like, like a? Do you have something that can help us travel on land, or is it just feet? Uh, I mean, I fly, so, uh... We can't. Yeah, that sucks for you. I can Can fly. I ride you? That's... No, that's, uh, <laughs> that's Ugozin's job. Oh, I'm not I with you right now, but he's mine. Anyway, yeah, no, walking is your best bet. Alrighty. Yeah, sorry. Then I just walk back off. Yeah, sorry about that. Okay. Alright. That's all I had. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so you continue. Uh, Ugozin, you... Lead the way. And eventually... Where the fuck were you guys? <laughs> fuck you go back. Deducing your person or whatever. I, I, excuse me? Yeah, we just had a... That is a... That is a, it's, we, it's we a, 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 a boy and a, or a girl. Is Butters a boy and a, boy Butters or a girl? Butters is a boy. Yes! We just, that is we my boyfriend. Don't worry about it. Without you. Huh? What? I am deeply hurt. I, I'm just walking off. Okay, so eventually, uh, Ugoten, you lead the way to this kind of forest outcropping, and you can see uh, that there is a river that begins to flow through uh, with a bridge that is connecting the two halves. And everybody make a perception check for me. What are the odds that there's a troll under this bridge? <laughs> Very high. 20. Perception. Don't even put that Not in the Matt, 20, fucking... 20. 9. 11. 16. I rolled, let's go. I rolled a 10. Okay. So 16. Oh my god, could we stop with 10s? 16. 11. 11 20. Nine. Not Nat 20, but okay. 20. So, Shoki and Ugoten, you... At the, uh, a little bit past the bridge, like, kind of embedded Wait, in the trees. My, cr my creature would also make one. That is true. Bridge... Uh, wisdom plus one. Oh, perception plus three. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's nineteen for my pet. Okay. Uh, Flapper, Shoki, and Ugoten, you can see a little bit past the bridge, kind of embedded in some trees. You can see this swirling blue energy portal that is currently just circling and whiffing around um that is you can see if you like because of how good you guys rolled it's slowly shrinking and kind of like kind of like pulsing. printing there's some there's like an unstable element to it can i use my wing boots and fly to it <laughs> all right you begin it's to fly printing. to it as you begin to fly you guys start running for it you can see that from out of the portal walks four individuals. There are these very small, about the size of butters, but they're not floating, they're standing. These three of them, there's three of them, these small um, kind of, hmm, how, do I, how do I describe them? Um, hmm, trying to figure out how to describe them. Like, they're, they've got like this deep blue skin, these long pointy ears, much longer than any elf. They're kind of wearing like this very like 
uh, naturey textured skin with like some armor um kind of these uh, very flat noses uh with like white uh like pure white eyes and you can see that they're standing next to a um kind of a very skinny like woman like uh persona that looks to be made of plants or leaves of some variety um and you can see that they all walk out actually let's see cuz you're kind of flying you would fly right into um you would fly right into the uh the woman the tall woman it's a just like a standard probably 5 foot something kind of crash Word. into her um with the, and then there's this look of disgust on her face she stares at you uh what languages do you speak shoki i speak common gnomish and thieves can't okay um she begins speaking something to you in a very angry tone I mean, you don't understand what it is oh okay um what languages do you speak uh fisays Abyssal, common, infernal, and sylvan. Okay, what about Moira? Celestial and common. Ulgotan? Common, elvish, infernal. You understand it. God damn it. And basically, as you crash I mean, into it, you, you can hear uh, two shoki. Uh, boys, get this scum away from me. And you watch <laughs> as they begin to like step in front of her, and they all have uh, their weapons pointed directly at you, Shoki. Okay. Is do they speak? Is it Elvish? It's speak? Elvish. Okay, I kind of like talk to them like, okay, okay, I know that this gnome is fucking annoying, but, but who like, is the one chill talking? The fuck out. The one talking is the taller one. The, the no, woman like I was saying that sarcastically to to the bar. Do you understand what he's saying, though? Oh yeah, wait. Yeah. Are you saying that in common, or are you saying in that in Elvish? Elvish? Yeah, I would, oh, yeah. So they mind. would understand. She kind of like pushes through her little barrage of tiny soldiers because they slowly walk up to you, uh, Ulgotin, um, and says, "You are very interesting." I like the way that you present yourself. It's at this point I'm I'm looking at at him for like the go ahead to start murdering some people. And and in Elvish and you my lady are very pretty. Hmm. I think the same could be said for you. Oh. I would like for you to make a wisdom my saving throw please. Oh shit. Oh good god. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no! I, I'm um, I'm like still like looking at him though, making sure like oh, no. shit's okay. My house. And at the slightest, broken. at the slightest um inkling of like change in his mood or like he like distress or like any drastic change in mood, I'm reaching for my my brown tan bag <laughs> and I'm 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 about to throw some things out. Okay. Send out more. What is the wisdom saving throw? One. That one. It's a that one. one. Okay. So, um, I'm about to cry. <laughs> you are now charmed. And oh. I cast charm person on the person who charmed Olive Garden. Well, you don't know that. Nothing is so right now. I was going to anyway. Okay, I'm presenting. I cast let me, charm let me, person. Let me present this real quick, and then we'll get to all that because it's gonna cause we're gonna chain reaction right now. It's gonna cause a, a large spark of things. Um. So nice. You uh are now, you consider this creature to be a trusted friend that you must protect at all costs. Um, you are not... Yeah, under... Did you really pick a fucking dryad? No, I didn't. You're giving not. me PTSD I right now. Honestly, this makes sense because I don't like the people I'm with. Okay, so you're not under this creature's control, but you take their requests and you do whatever you can uh, to their benefit. So, um... All right. So, yeah, you are now under the charm of this creature uh, who looks to you and says, 
we are going to make our way out of here. If you could keep your friends distracted, that would be very favorable for all of us. You know what? You know what? Sexy dad is. Uh, that's a deal. Very good. Thank you. And charm person. Okay, charm person. So actually, not a wisdom save on your part. Uh, yeah, it is a wisdom save on my part, and so I'm casting it on her. And on uh, Olive Garden. Because <laughs> huh, I can cast on two people because okay. it automatically upcasts. So I think because he's already charmed. How does that work? Can I not, can I not overcharm? Does it say anything? Wait, hold on. Just can steal yeah, the charm. Can you charm a person, a person who is charmed? That was such a terrible <laughs> sentence to write. Lady, lady, lady. Abilities or spells that impose the charm condition yeah. don't cancel previously charged uh, charm conditions. So would I also charm them? Or yeah, would I, I think just so. Not be able it to just charm. doesn't work. It doesn't work. It just doesn't work. Oh, well, can I charm one of the tiny smurf things? Yeah, I mean, you don't know he's wouldn't, charmed, but I'll let you pick whoever you want to charm. Wouldn't, wouldn't I have to... Did I, did I, did I already roll a... Uh, yeah, save you rolled. Charm person? Did, yeah. You rolled for oh, sh for the the creature who just did it to you. Okay, so well, okay, I'm I always forgot. Okay, so it's a it's a save wisdom, right? Yep. Wisdom save. Hold on, I gotta find that. Okay. Oh right, I rolled that one. Thank That's you. I I shit you not. I rolled. Okay, well, I'm just gonna say this. I have advantage for reasons. Um, mm -hmm. I rolled a natural twenty and a natural one. <laughs> Against me? No. So. Against mine. She's not charmed. Fuck me. What about but... the smurf thing? Oh, the smurf thing. I threw my dice and rolled natural twenty. Let's see. Uh, does this thing also have? No, it doesn't. Okay. Uh, that's a a wisdom. You said that's a sixteen. Yep. They both pass. Okay. Um. You now watch as the woman looks over to you, uh, and doesn't. None of you can understand what she says, but uh, Ugotin, you understand. Uh, she looks at you, uh, Fises, and then looks at her little henchman. And Ugotin, you hear it's a it's directed at them and also you, Ugotin. So this is an order. Get rid of them, and just begins to start walking away. Uh, and I need everybody to roll initiative, please. Wait, so I'm against them now? Oh. Uh, as of right now, yeah. So that's I fucking love this because I have a spell that's that kills everyone. 16. Um, <laughs> because, yeah, let me see. Let me read it again just to make sure. Uh, is now plus 10. You're not under the dryad's control, but you take its requests and do it in the most favorable way. It is way. a fucking dryad. Yeah, and, and, she, and, she, and she ordered me to get rid of fuck them, them up. She said, Motherfucker. So, we're going to go ahead and. Do I some rolled. How's an initiative? Let me actually... it just the... initiative's just dex, right? Like dex mm -hmm. modifier. Uh, yeah. I mean, I have four and I have three in dex. Me and my uh, companion got the same initiative. Okay, so they only have the same dex. Uh, actually, do you have the same dex? No, we have different dex. Okay, so where oh, is everybody going to be? Let's go ahead and get that situated first. Well, he would have been leading Olive Garden. Yeah, and I probably would have been second because I'm, I'm, I'm not. Well, I also this flew right into her. That is true. Just be hanging back. Okay, so got those. Let me grab this, and then let me grab this. Okay, so you would have flown right into like right there. Okay. Um, then you would have been... Actually, no. You would have been like right around there. Because then you would have been over this way right here. Yeah. You said you would have been second, so like probably back there somewhere. And then you're chilling even further back. Uh, Fises? Oh, so, yep. okay. So, okay. So the purple is the bitches. And, okay. So, let's grab this. So I got to, I got to make the little, not, they're not Smurfs, but you know, 
smurf. They're smurf. Cool. So, just just Small get like smurf. a picture of a smurf and use that. Oh wait, no, how I'm, tall are I'm they? I'm curious. They are they're considered tiny. So they're pretty okay. small actually. I am curious now. What is the old Smurf called in Papa Smurf? Papa, Papa Smurf. Smurf. Okay, we called him we literally just call him Old Smurf. That's great. I love that. <laughs> I was just curious. Okay, so these ones were right here on you because uh you were the one who initially uh had walked up on them. Then the dryad. Motherfucking is... dryad. I hate you so much right now. I know. I did it on purpose. I love you so much right now. And then let me see. What... You weren't even there. All right. So, yeah. Then this is the dryad. And I, and I can't. I'm not going to kill you. Yes. Yes. Okay. And the dryad <laughs> will say is like a dark green or maybe darker green. Okay. Okay. So. Uh, is that is everybody okay with where they're at? Does anybody want to be in a different yeah. spot? I'm uh, maybe like a yeah. bit off the bridge, like right there. Uh, a bit closer. There. Yeah. Right there. Yeah, that should be good. Okay, sweet. So, all right, let's go ahead and do initiative. So, let me go ahead and roll for everything. So, this is going to be for the dryad. Uh, you said roll oh. initiative before you did the placing. Does the yeah. roll we did before that count? Listen. Yeah. yeah. No, uh, well, you can use what you guys wanted, I guess. Unless you want to re-roll. I'll, I'll leave that up to you guys. Well, I, I don't want to re-roll. <laughs> okay, we'll just keep Ooh, keep keep what you did. Just keep what you did. Um, okay, so the dryad. Okay, so what did everybody roll? 21. Okay. 19. Okay. 17. Damn, we all rolled high. 16. For me Damn, we all rolled real high. Okay, so 21, then 19, then 17, then two 16s. Yep. Okay, so I'll do PCs uh, plus... Uh, Who goes first? You or your familiar? I'll say you guys go at the same time because you control them both. Yeah, so I control them it both. It just makes so. it easier that way. Yeah. Um, okay, yeah. so then this... Okay. Okay. And then uh, I'm just going to roll one. How long one. does the familiar last? All the time, until it dies. Really? It's, it's just like, uh, it's just like having a pet. That's cool. Okay, and then oh shit. Um, let's see. Where is? I believe. Hold on, I'm kind of tripping right now. Sorry, guys. Um. Okay. All right. So that is seventeen. Who else rolled the seventeen? I did. Okay. My uh, dex is not good, though. Okay. So, we'll do that. All right. So, uh, Shoki, you are the first yeah. to react as uh, these three uh, tiny blue creatures have just been sicked on you. Let me check something real quick. Um, can I cast a cantrip? Sure. Um, I want to cast Poison Spray. Okay. Um, it's a Constitution saving throw. Okay. On who? And it is uh ten feet, so only one ten feet away from me. It hits all of them. Is it a? Is it no? Cone? Yeah. No. Is it a ten foot it's radius? Or it's is not a cone. It's, range? it's a specific creature. Oh, a specific creature. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, then I'd rather just attack with my short sword. Never mind. Let me see. Because I think poison spray. If it spray. was multiple, it would be cone, uh, but because it says 10 feet, I think it's just one yeah, person. Yeah, if, yeah, if it's not a radius, then it would just be one. Yeah, yeah it's the creature. Yeah. Okay, then I'll just do a short sword attack. Okay, Um, you have disadvantage on these. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you can see that they're kind of vibrating at a very immense rate oh god um my first attack was uh seven to hit uh with advantage or disadvantage with disadvantage uh, a seven misses okay oh, and then my bonus attack yep um 16 to hit a 16 just hits 
Okay. And then it's five uh, damage, and I'll hit the one that is kind of next to um, Olive Garden to, uh, yeah. Okay, so this one right here? Yeah. Okay, so that one, as you hit, you make a cut, and as you cut through, you watch as the, the immense vibrating that was happening has ceased. Okay. Oh. Um. Actually, wait. And then... Let me see something. Uh, oh, never mind. I lied. It's still up. Oh. And it's going okay. to use its reaction to do evasion. So it... Uh, Oh wait, no, it can't do that. That's that's the wrong one. Never mind. I'm um, also. Lying. And then can, I want to move away. <laughs> okay. So where are you going? Ooh, that's. Uh, I want to move. Ah, uh, wait. Hmm. Can I move closer to the river? Uh, no, <laughs> I don't. I'm thinking. Um. You're gonna take a ta- you're gonna take a tax of opportunity is yeah the reason. yeah I mean yeah I I just won't move okay um so with that uh, it is the dryad's turn who is going to let's see what is the dryad going to do um yeah I mean. Uh, yeah, I guess uh, you guys really... She doesn't really care about you guys. Honestly. Yeah. So um, I can change that. She's just going to... Uh, she's going to go... Huh, what is she going to do? She's going to go 5, what? 10. Is the... Question. Yes. Um. So she said get rid of uh, my well, my my party, but mm-hmm. she didn't say don't attack me. Do I get attack of opp- opportunity here? The charmed creature regards the dryad as a trusted friend to be heeded and protected. Okay, fair oh. enough. Fair enough. Um, so, also, question: Is the portal still there? It's still there. It's slowly getting smaller, but it's still there. Okay. Um. Okay. So with that, um. So it's gonna move five, ten. Then it's going to use tree stride. So, going to consume another 10 feet to step within the tree and emerge from a separate tree. So, whew, and is going to emerge, so 60 feet, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Oh, it doesn't work. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. 45, 50, 50, so emerge over here on the other side of the river and has just walked through the trees and is now on the other side. So uh, with that, is that an action? What is that? Um, oh no, it's not an action. And then as an action is going to cast uh, Bark Skin on herself. So you watch as instead of like a leaf-like body, it is just pure wood. Um, that's her turn. Uh, Ugotin. All right. Um, would you, um, so I'm charmed. Would you, uh, should deal with my party? Would you count this as meta magic, uh, meta gaming, meta gaming? If I move to the right and cast shatter, because that hits everyone in a 10 foot uh, radius, that would hit Shulgi. Would you count that as meta gaming um or would you count that as me following the request i think that would be i mean that's following the request he she said deal with them you don't you don't see the uh thingies as allies yeah no it's only her it's only her her. you're right it is only her so i don't think that that's with dealing with them i could perturbate that as being the blooper people as well yeah no i think that's fine yeah yeah i'm gonna move to the to the right towards the blue people and then i'm gonna cast shatter okay so you cast shatter and i'm gonna i'm gonna need uh where did i put it there i'm gonna need 
those four and Shulky, the, the blue, free blue people and Shulky to roll a constitution saving throw. Okay, constitution saving throw. So the, the first 18. one that just got hit is, it's Khan, right, you said? Yeah, Khan. Uh, okay, so that's, the first one fails. Nice. The second one succeeds, and the third one, that's cocked. The third one, uh, let's see, Khan, uh, 13 plus one. I rolled a 14. Uh, 14 is meets it, beats it. 14, what's your spell save? It's if, if, if 14, so meets it, beats it. Meets it, beats that it, yeah, so. Yeah, so. Only one of them failed, which was the first one. Uh, okay, did the uh, Shulky fail? I got 18. Roll? 18, okay. So, everyone that failed takes 14 hit points of damage. Okay. Anyone that succeeded takes only seven. Okay. Uh, you go ahead and you cast Shatter, and you watch. It's just like a. It's like a burst of uh, thunderous energy, and you watch as one of them who is shifting begins to just vibrate so much that it just, just explodes with the sound of the lightning. Uh, that one has died. Oh, okay. I was about to ask, do I know which one? <laughs> yeah, this one. The the only one that was hit. These other two are still alive, but there's ringing in the ears, uh, and they're not very happy with you uh, at this very moment. There. Um, um, could, I, I still have movement, right? You do still have movement. And I will move back to where I were. Yeah. Bonk. So, uh, five foot left. Okay. Uh, I, will take, well, I will take another second to, to, if you use to choose to use the reaction i guess uh, they're they're technically your allies so i mean, like, I mean not really not right because now. it's only the tron person well it's also the they just got attacked my, uh... so he's pretty mad so he will take a swipe at you as you okay. as you leave because, um not very happy i think that drops the charm then doesn't it it does it, no it, be... if it hits it might isn't isn't it only the the dryad oh, though? If it does something dryad, harmful, let me see. So it's a it's each, a dryad that charmed so me. If so it's no. a dryad that would so if it's dryad or any of its allies yeah. do anything to hurt you, then it yeah. drops. Yeah, but they have to hurt you. So if it misses, if it misses, happens. it's fine. But technically, you Perfect. you don't see them as allies, but they saw they see the dryad as allies. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. So that okay, is, okay. That's, that's fair. That's cocked. That's a yeah. That's gonna hit. That's a Let's go. eighteen plus eight. To hit. Oh, 26, though, that misses. Okay, yeah, cool, good, good, yeah, 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 whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And yeah, that is yeah. eight, points, eight points of damage as a dagger is stabbed into your thigh. Okay, I have taken damage two times. I've taken eight damage both times. Let's see, so... <laughs> I've rolled five tens, taking eight damage both times. Okay, you. so you get to repeat the saving throw right now. I just I just click healed. God damn it. Damn it. Damn. I know, I'm amazing. So uh, another saving throw to see because you've just been attacked to see if you can shake off the charm. Uh, is that the constitution? That's the oh, wisdom. wisdom save. Wisdom save. There we go. Uh, that will be an eight. Uh, okay, you still fail. You get stabbed in the leg, but you're like, Shit. I gotta protect and serve the sexy tree lady. Well, then I get to do the same thing again. <laughs> okay, so you do that. Is that your turn? I mean, I still have movement, right? You have a little bit, yeah. Uh, since he attacked me, I'm gonna walk one step left upwards, uh, diagonally. Like that? Uh, no, the other way. Oh, like that. Left for me. Yes. Okay. Okay, that's left, right? Yeah. For me, at least. Okay, is that your turn? Um, yes. No, okay. Not. So, um, what's going to happen here? It is now these smaller creatures. This one's going to go up here to flank, and they're both going to make attacks with advantage on you. So, cool. The first one that is uh, seventeen to hit. Yep. And the second one is the same to hit. Mm-hmm. So you will take. From two dagger attacks. Three plus. 
18 points of piercing damage as the daggers just start stabbing How into you. Uh, 18. Oh, fuck. Mm. Um, okay. All right. That has happened. Can they do anything else? Oh. Oh, God. I've made a terrible mistake. Um, oh. With their multi attack, they get three dagger attacks. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh so, she's dead. And they're all at advantage. No, I kind of liked the gnome. He's okay. dead. So, we'll. So, shit. Yeah, so they have. Yeah. Uh, those are. T- that's one each. Okay, so here comes the second batch. Yeah, that's a 17 to hit. Yep. And. Um a 22 to hit yep okay so then you take uh, the 9 10 11 15 points you've of damage be, you gotta be dead. dead yeah do you not have uncanny dodge yet i think it's a fifth uh, level thing uncanny dodge he kind of dodges fifth level okay yeah so you go down um then there's two more attacks on you technically oh so she dies if these hit which they automatically she, she's dead so let me let me see i'm trying to think because you said take care of them technically you're already dead they would they attack you i don't know oh yeah i'll i'll vote to see if they would because there's other thre- there's other threats. They're smart enough to know there's other threats. So, are they smart enough? Uh... <laughs> okay, the one, the one that was already hit by or that hit Tem doesn't like Tem, so that one's going after uh, <laughs> Goten to make an attack. Fuck. And then this one is actually gonna is gonna just try to finish you off. So advantage. That's a natural 20, isn't it, but it doesn't say, isn't matter. It auto, it's isn't auto, it auto hit since she's prone? Uh, I think I... St- no, it's advantage. If she's it's prone, a, then it's just advantage. auto advantage. It's auto advantage, and then it crits, and crits when you're at zero automatically do two death saves. So you have two death saves. Isn't isn't a normal hit when you're at death saves just two? Yeah. yeah. It, well, isn't a crit just so, an instant death? No, the rule... Actually? So it's a weird rule. So if you take damage from a source that's n- so if you take damage once you reach negative of half you die but if you take a crit you take two death saves and melee attacks always crit so that's why you take two death saves from a melee attack is because they always oh. crit so that's so 20 a spell that crit, wouldn't. yeah uh... spell would just do damage so you just take two death saves but just the failures um, cross through them out? Yeah, two failures. So if you roll okay. another failure, uh, you die. There's okay. someone here that's saying uh, they play with crits on zero health points as an insta kill, but uh, I'll, I'll, you choose. Well, so so the thing is, is when, when you're unconscious, all attacks crit automatically. They're auto crits. So I rolled the crit, but it would have okay, crit okay. anyway. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's it's a weird situation. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, I I, I feel I feel. Okay, so I just, I just... Oh, and then one on you, uh, Ugoten. They play with that. That's uh, it's not gonna hit actually. That's eleven. So, you're good there. Um, Moira. This is your turn. God dang it, Tab. Exactly. Fucking thirty dryad. What'd you say? Am I able to get within 30 feet of the dryad? Um, let's see. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So if you go... If you go right here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh, you'd have to get into the water. What if I go down... Down one and... and, and like here? Is that within thirty? A map left of that uh, down Wait, one. Before he attacks, would I wouldn't I have to roll another wisdom saving throw no. to get it out the charm hit. because they attacked you. me again? It didn't hit you. It, it didn't hit. hit. Okay, 
Fair. Okay. Okay, so if you're right sure. there at 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Right there, you're within 30. But I'm in the water? You're like half in the water. I would say you're in the water just for the sake of how it. Deep, how, how deep is the water? <sighs> probably like... It's probably up to your waist. Okay, that's fine. And once I'm within 30 feet, I'm going to cast Compelled Duel on the Dryad. Okay. Finally. What is that? That is a wisdom saving throw. A wisdom saving throw. Okay. Yes, please. Has advantage. Um, this technically isn't being charmed. I know, but it's magic. Okay. Uh, I, I didn't know if it was true. Yeah, that's a 16. Fair Damn it. All right. Anything and nothing else happens. Uh, well, then I'm getting out of the water, and I'm going to smack the hell out of that smurf right there, because I'm pissed. Okay. Go for it. Make an attack. With disadvantage, please. Yes, advantage. Ooh. Come on. Big numbers. Uh, that's two nines, 14. Uh, those miss. Okay. Well, then I am done. Okay. Um, Fisais and Flapper. All right. Flapper is going to fly towards the Smurf that is attacking our good old unconscious friend. Okay. Uh, can, can it, like, get behind so it flanks? Yeah. We'll go ahead and we'll do this like this. So this one is Flapper. Is that flanking? Uh, yeah, uh, technically? Wait, actually, no, because this would be flanking. Because technically, this it's not attacking this creature right now. Because she's unconscious. Yeah, he's got 60 feet of flying, so he can make it. Yeah, so right, that's uh, flanking. Damn. Yeah. It's my bonus action to make it attack, isn't it? Yeah, it's your bonus action. So, because it's very fluid, you would use your bonus action, and then he would attack, and you'd be at the same time. <clears throat> right, okay. I'm going to start walking towards um, good old Olive Garden. Okay. Like right up to him? Yep. Okay. Bonus action, Misty Step. Okay. To right in front of the portal. Okay. Right here. And I turn around. Yep. I still have movement, right? Uh, let's double check that. So, you were here. 5, 10, 15. Yeah. Misty yeah, step. So you have 15 feet of movement left. Okay. I'm gonna turn around. I cast a bonus action spell. Can I cast an action cantrip? Yes. You can. Eldritch Blast at the Smurf. Okay. Because, yeah, bonus action. Which, which, which smurf? Yeah, which one? The one that is currently being flanked by everyone. Okay, so <laughs> the one... Okay, the one where the where your pseudo-dragon's at. Okay. Yeah. Make uh, an attack with disadvantage. was a five and a two. All right. You mm. miss. It kind of, like, phases through the creature as it's, like, shifting about. Just right through as if the creature wasn't there to begin with. And um, through the voice, or through the pseudo dragon, you're just going to hear. For what it's worth, I'm sorry I'm leaving you. Just gonna step through the portal. Okay. So my step. dragon's still. My dragon's still there. So you step through the portal. Um. What does the dragon do if you don't command him? So. There's a. What's the stipulation about? communicating to your familiar I can't from a di you can't do it from a different plane 
Okay, so, so I'm pretty sure it stays there until it dies. It stays there until it dies, or you can summon it back to you. Just a meat shield. Now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, it, it gives you. And I'm gonna have to go now. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. That's smart though. That's smart. I mean, it's what my character was gonna do anyway. Yeah. But smart. yeah. Um, Alrighty. Have fun, y'all. Try not to have too much chaos. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. We'll see. See you, buddy. Peace out. Alrighty, so you guys watch as Fiseis steps through the portal and is gone, which puts us at Shoki. I need you to make a death, death saving throw, please. If she fails, she's dead. If you fail, you're dead. 18. You succeed. We get to live another day. Okay. Well, another six seconds at least. Yeah. The Dryad Fuck. is not concerned uh, so is going to 5, 10, 15, 20. Uh, go there. Then use 10 feet to teleport 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is that. So that's 30, 35, 40, 45. Yeah, all the way back here. And is just starting to get out of sight and is no longer concerned uh, with any of you. Um, and with that... It is now Ulgotin. It is your turn. You watched yep. as uh, uh, Fisei stepped through the portal, leaving his pseudo dragon behind. Okay, so that, that's kind of that, that's rude. Um. Okay, I'm just gonna let me wait. Who's purple now? That's the, the pseudo dragon. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I love the color. It's a good color. Okay, so I'm gonna walk uh, in front of Mora. Okay. Uh, like right here. Yes. Okay. Um. Yeah. Well, are you taking the opportunity of, uh, of attack? Which is. Oh yes, you do take that opportunity. You're kind of mad at me. So, actually, yeah. No, it does. Yeah, that one's pissed at him. Uh, oh wait, it's not. It's not an advantage, is it? I, I suck. Hold on, I'll do it again. No, I don't think it would be. You know. That's twenty-one. Uh, yeah, that hits. That hits. Okay, and it, you make take that wisdom save. Yeah, make a wisdom save as you take. Okay. Plus, you take nine points of damage. Uh, not twenty on the wisdom save. Okay, as he slashes. And that's just twenty. As he slashes at you... How many? Uh, how much nine. Okay. As he slashes at your thigh, you kind of like wake up and realize that you've been fooled by the dryad. And you are just okay. looking directly in Moira's face now. Well, uh, okay. So, what would you like yeah. to do? Uh, yeah, well, yeah. Fucking hell, Tim. It's your turn. Okay, cool. All right. While still being like... Um, Olgurden is still like kind of mad and hurt that his f not friends, party members kind of like were rude at him. Um, so he is going to cast Shatter once again. Okay, is that I need, is that just like a radius that is, around you? That's a 10 foot radius. So, is that everyone 10 foot radius? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's, every, that's that everybody. Is, that's every single person. Including the dragon. Yeah, that's everybody. Including the dragon. What do we do? Uh, are we making? There's con save, Constitution right? save, yeah. Okay. I, do I even roll? Oh, shit. So, you take no, damage, but it doesn't... No, that's just an instant crit, right? No, so... No, it's not it's, crit. It, you just take damage. So, keep in mind, if it goes to negative of half of your damage, you die. Isn't it the... Isn't... It's the exact same. Oh, is it the exact? You're right. It is. So, what's your max yeah, HP okay, yeah. normally? Thirty-five. So, if you take so negative, negative 35, thirty-five, so keep that in mind. So, you'll just take okay. the full amount because you can't save from it. Fourteen, correct? Is that what he rolled? And what was the damage? Oh. Uh, the damage is fourteen. Okay, fourteen. So you take fourteen fully, um, and you watch as both of the um, both of them. Are killed 
because okay. regardless as if they save or not, they take seven and they only have three hit points each. Hold on, do I have to do that since I'm now an ally, or is that a... No, you take it too, because oh. it's everybody in that oh, radius. Alrighty. Oh, the pseudo-dragon. Oh, yeah, the dragon. Also, uh... Uh, okay, Pseudo like Dragon 5e. Pseudo Dragon. Uh, let's see. There we go. It's a con save, right? It fails. Yeah, yeah, con save. It fails and takes 14. 14 is uh, 14 is the same for. Okay. Is the, uh, no, what's the damage? What's the damage? Then? Oh, the oh damage. Yeah, sorry, my bad. Okay, 14. So yeah, he dies too. It wasn't 14 damage. Oh, it wasn't 14 damage. I thought it was 14 damage. My bad. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 14 damage. Oh, four, oh you actually rolled 14. Okay. Yeah, I will. I rolled 14, yeah. Okay, so... I think, right? Six plus five, five plus three. Yeah, fourteen. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, both of the blue creatures die. The pseudo dragon dies. Uh, nice. And the body of Shoki takes fourteen points of damage, and the dryad is nowhere to be seen. Um, so we'll still go in initiative just for the sake of it. So Moira, you're up. Can I talk during her? Turn. We'll say it's kind of free right now. I guess we can kind of step out of initiative because you, unless you guys are going to pursue the druid, which or the dryad, which is pretty far. Yeah, I can't catch up to her. Okay, so yeah, we'll say it's kind of just free right now. Okay, so I just want to like, um, she kind of the dryad kind of did something to me, so I made me attack you at first. And I'm going to go she... try and stabilize the gnome. <laughs> okay. Uh, God damn, we can't even get a fish. I think it's a. 10 medicine check? Yeah, it's a something? medicine check. Make a medicine check. Where's my... Oh, fuck. Can I... Okay. Can, can, can uh, Old Gurdon help? That's a natural 20 minus 1. Oh. Well, there you go. That's pretty cool. You go ahead. You she, stabilize. She's not at 1, but she's stabilized. She's, she's alive, and she's not going to die. But she is not conscious. So. What do you wish to do as the portal in front of you? We, we, should, we should leave. Help me pick up the body. Let's go. Let's go. No, I can. Uh, I can. I can heal her. Well, do that. <laughs> well, if then she dies through the go. portal, it'll be a problem. If we wait just for one second, and I can heal her. Do it while we're walking. Be awake, and she's actually. Do it while we're walking. Good. Let's go. Can I do it while while we're walking? Yes, you can. This thing's not gonna be open for much okay. longer. I'm gonna I'm gonna cast level two cure wounds. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna click that because that. Uh, As he's doing that, I'm like helping her up and like. Uh, eighteen he eighteen hit points of that of. Uh, eighteen hit points of help. damage. Let's go. Nice. Okay, so you heal up <laughs> eighteen to eighteen, um, and so are you stepping through the portal? Yeah. I am. Alrighty. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm going. Uh, I'm going. Yeah. Alrighty. You yeah. all step into the portal, and as you do, it's kind of this flash of just a multitude of different colors. I need everybody to make a Constitution save, please. Uh, yeah. That sounds about right. Or actually, it might be Wisdom. Let me. Actually, I'm. I actually have to grab the book for this. Give me one second. It doesn't matter oh. for me because I rolled a one. natural one. Cryo one. <laughs> We both just rolled natural ones. Okay. No, 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 no. He said one second, I said one. Okay, oh. so... Well, I rolled a natural one. I have to find it because it's kind of on a different what? page. So, oh, fuck me. So sorry about that, y'all. Just gotta find that shit. Uh, come on. I'm literally right here in the segment. I just can't find... Okay, here we go. Um, it's a, Okay, it's a wisdom saving throw. I'm sorry. Okay, yeah. Um, I rolled eight. Okay. Twelve. Okay. Natural one. Okay. So, as you were teleported through, all of you are 
in your respective homes where you originally were. You have been brought back to where you originally were at the time of the original trans uh, transition. So, uh, who rolled under a 10? Uh, I did. We, well, uh, I think everyone except for Hope. Olive Garden and uh, Mara. Okay. I rolled a nat 1 if that means anything. Uh, no. So, for those of you who failed, you have no recollection of the time you spent in the Feywild. Damn it, I don't remember my boyfriend. Actually, <coughs> wait, wait a minute. Are Do you have the Fey ancestry trait as a half-elf? I think so. Oh, that's a that's a good question. Because I know the regular elves get that. I think uh, I'm gonna go check. Okay, elf. Yeah, I have, yeah, yeah. Fate ancestry. Yeah, I have that. <laughs> Technically, you've had adva- you've had advantage against charmed this entire time. <laughs> oh well, fuck me, I guess. Okay, that, it's it that's literally, on me. It literally says here. Fey creatures automatically succeed on the saving throw, as do any creatures like elves that have the Fey ancestry trait. Oh, yeah, I actually read that before. But yeah, that's on me. That's on me. I should have. I should have said that something. Should know. So only. So only Moira. You have zero recollection of the time spent. You just. You just wake up, as if you were sleeping the whole time. Right. And on a successful save for the two of you, your memories remain intact, but things are a little hazy. And um, do you want me to roll for feces? Um, sure. Go for it. What was his time? Uh, not know? one. <laughs> really? Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. So feces doesn't remember. Uh, the pseudo dragon technically never left. Because it died there. He died. But um, sorry. The 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 <laughs> soul that Fe- uh, that feces was talking to would also technically have to make a save to see if they also forget. Isn't it? Isn't it dead? It's, it's, no, because that. I mean, ex- I guess it would have left. But... It's, it's still experiencing things. Just I not... was. I just wanted to say I had flash flashbacks from. Venom, the movie. The oh, entire time. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the fucking... <laughs> so, uh, the soul that Fisace was talking to does remember bits and pieces as well. And nice. you guys that's plop not back in. You remember Butters. You remember Butters. Yes! <laughs> Do I still have my bagpipes and hat? Yes, you both have your bagpipes, you have your hat. Yes! And for those of you who remember, you smile. And that's where we're going to leave this one shot. Um, I appreciate you guys for being here. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Thank you for everybody who's watching. Go ahead and support everybody. All their links are down below uh, in the description. It was a lot of fun. So we hope you guys enjoyed. We hope you guys are staying safe. We love you. And we will see you guys next time. Peace. Bye.